But okay, now it's time we head back to Aventurine's perspective and see where the story goes from here. And yeah, now we have to distribute gems and ask around for clues regarding the stowaways. Yeah, so we have to find out more about Firefly and whatnot. And yeah, through sneaky magic trick, you get your hands on the gift money and your corner so the Aventurine. Things get ug ugly, but your plan is still being executed in a timely pace. Not even the impending death can stop you. Distribute the gift money to pedestrians to exchange the intel you need. So I'm um, just giving up free money in exchange for info. Oh yeah, yeah, that purple shit, yeah. That means the Harmony is uh, getting ready to kill me within like 17 hours. Oh boy. Feeling lucky. <laughs> You're still feeling lucky even after even after you've been cursed to death. Well, let's hope uh, he comes out of this all right. Okay, distribute the gems and ask around for clues regarding the, the stories. All right. Would you be willing to support my performance and keep the song of beauty alive in the cosmos? Uh, here, I got these gems for you. Wow. But why would you give such a wonderful gift to a random stranger like me? <laughs> I just seem generous, baby. Well, you see, <laughs> I can't bear to see anyone in this sweet dream suffering from poverty. That's incredibly kind of you. Thank you so much, sir. If you ever get the chance, please feel free to come by and indulge in my singing. Sure thing. Oh, by the way, do you happen to know anything interesting about death? Death? Uh. That's a pretty scary topic, and it doesn't really match the mood of this sweet dream. Well, e okay, you know nothing. Oh, you see, I'm a tabloid reporter collecting ghost stories in panicone <laughs> yeah you sure look like a tabloid you know, reporter the, <laughs> the stories the more attention they get <laughs> maybe you could help me out well if you're up for some gossip it's not about death but there have been some rumors about a mm. guest reality hotel who fell into a deep sleep and didn't wake up Ooh. it was like they were in some sort of coma Nobody knows what caused it, but luckily the customer eventually regained consciousness. Well, all customers are under the protection of the family, after all. They regained consciousness? Hmm. Thank you. This will make for a very juicy headline. May she they protect us? Unexplained coma. <laughs> That's actually what happens to your body if your brain dies in a dream. Oh. But unfortunately, the customer ended up waking up in the end. So what do you mean, unfortunately? That's a good thing. Hmm. I can feel something inside my head. Oh, boy. Is the harmony starting to kick in? Yes, like killing him slowly. Because Robin fucking put a curse on not Not Robin. Sunday put a curse on him. <laughs> I don't know why I keep getting the names confused. Okay, but what about you, old man? Ch Chabro. <laughs> the world has truly lost its way. Adventure love continues despite the initial hates. Nothing like a touch of depression to sympathize the heart. Yeah, true. I did kind of hate um, Adventure initially, but now I'm yeah. Now I just kind of just feel bad for him. Just yeah, it's just pity at this point. Uh, here, I got these gems for you. You. I get it now. This is some sort of prank show, right? Uh, no. You must have some camera set up around here to film yourself doing good deeds, right? No, I'm not Mr. Beast. Come on now. You youngsters are always looking for a quick way to get an audience. But you know what? A truly great show never comes easy. <laughs> a great show will start soon, old man. But before that, I need to ask you something. Do you know where I can find death in this dream? Ah, I see. Another fearless youngster looking for death, huh? Uh, what do you mean another one? Let me give you a piece of advice. Don't think you're the first one who's ever thought of that idea. Death? Not even remotely innovative. I bought it from Dr. Edward. He claimed it was some exclusive fancy schmancy stuff. What? What a disappointment. D oh man, do you know what death even is? The effects were awful. First, 
Some monster covered uh, in eyes stabs you in the gut. Oh. And then all you see are blurry glimpses of buildings and lights. Wait. The sky was spinning so fast it almost made me puke. Wait. Stabs you? The, what? Is that all? Yeah. What else can you expect? Don't put too much stock in the Penacone movie industry. They even call this junk groundbreaking art. Can you believe it? <laughs> what a joke. Uh. Well, I'll leave you be then. I hope you have a wonderful day. A monster covered in eyes. Yep. That sounds like the memory. And the stabbing to the gut part, yeah. But buildings and lights. Hmm. I don't think those have anything to do with death. Oh, that whole dream bubble was probably created using rumors and gossip. Huh. <laughs> the disturbing voice in my head. It's getting closer. Could both of these be related to Firefly? Could she actually still be alive in that case, in the real world? Hmm. Army's kind of scary, not gonna lie. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Considering they can just curse somebody to death like right in this instance yeah what the heck i thought harmony was supposed to be you know harmonious not violent like what the heck is this <laughs> i think we may need to reconsider our definition of harmony here uh oh you who oh blonde man woosley my favorite guy <laughs> take care my friend if you ever find yourself in danger remember that the hounds are always ready to help uh, here, I got these gems for you. The expression on this hunk of a man was complex, as if we were looking at a mud-soaked sparrow unable to fly near its, near its, its end. You don't look good, my friend. If you need assistance, I can contact the hotel and have them wake you up forcefully. That won't be necessary. I have some business to attend to. But thank you all the same. All right, then. If you ever need help, don't hesitate to reach out to us hounds well actually hmm. i do need a favor as the most outstanding hound in panacone have you come across any stowaways recently stowaways how could there be stowaways in panacone we've never had anything like that before hmm. all right good luck with your work then uh, what was I even thinking? Family would never share intel with the IPC. Well, that was a waste. Huh. Uh, does everyone have to go through so much torment before joining the family? Jeez. Uh, darn it. <laughs> yeah. I just want to dig out my brain and use it as evidence. Jeez. I somewhat love how crazy Aventurine sounds, though. Like, he sounds like he's really losing it, which he obviously is, but still. It's, yeah, it's a great voice performance. That's all I gotta say. Okay, and uh, what about you, Bochi the Rock? A <laughs> uh, sip of liquor. A blissful reprieve. To drown a thousand sorrows. What the? glories leave. <laughs> I know I have what it takes to become a poet. Why am I asking a drunk guy? <laughs> Here, I got these gents for you. Oh? <laughs> you? You're giving these gems to me? Didn't expect to meet such a generous soul in this place. Or are you just pitying me? Well, it really doesn't matter. As long as I have Soul Glad, that's enough. This is just a dream, after all. <laughs> you really shouldn't drink so much Soul Glad, my friend. Mm. It's not good for your health. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I really should quit. But not before meeting the Devil of Soul Glad. <laughs> the Devil of so what? <laughs> the Devil of Soul Glad? Care to elaborate? Wait, is Soul Glad sus after all? Uh. Nope, never mind. <laughs> it's a seahorse with a long neck. God damn it. I'm taking that gem back. Thank you very much. <laughs> they say it loves to appear to jump people, especially the ones 
people are passed out on the side of the road. <laughs> Is that right? How funny. <laughs> yeah. Very funny indeed. A fucking seahorse of a long neck. Okay. Can't imagine that. Dude, why am I asking drunk people? <laughs> uh, you, um, yeah, Uma, come here. You want to talk to me? Sure. But nothing too sensitive, okay? Have you heard anything about death? <laughs> he, just, he just comes out and says this. <laughs> Wealthy people have fancy ways to enjoy this dream. But to be honest, I've never seen anyone who gives out money to others like you. So, are you trying to be the prince from the tale? Handing out his gold leaf garment and melting his lead heart in the fire? <laughs> I'm flattered. I'm no prince. <laughs> Something will other argue wise. These gems would help you speak. So, as an investigative reporter, maybe you've heard something about death. Ah, another curious soul. I see. Well, that was actually the topic I was most into when I entered the industry. But my boss shut it down. Huh. Why are you interested in death? Now did your boss talk you out of it? Well, she simply said, covering baseless urban legends like that would make us look like some third-rate tabloid. Huh. I thought about it, and she had a point. Reporting on stuff like blowing out birthday candles and getting spooked by nightmare ghosts isn't exactly professional material. Mm, guess she's got a point. Thank you for sharing. Yeah. <laughs> Man, we're getting a whole lot of nowhere around here, it seems. Hey, Barry, you better have something good, I'll kill you. Were you wanting to talk to me? Sorry, I thought you were checking out something behind me. Also, yeah, I, I didn't even known that before, but yeah, eventually got his stone back, even after Robin being blatantly revealed that uh, he, he had it. He just chose to give it back to him. Not Robin, Sunday. For some reason, I keep thinking Robin's a guy. It's Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I gotta get my brain wide to that. All right, here we go. Gems, give me info. Is this a gift for me? Yes. Are you sure this isn't some kind of mistake? No. Yes, it's for you. Just take it. Is this for real? For real? Someone is actually giving me a gift. Not for my parents, but for me. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> you seem absurdly happy. No, it's not much. I just want to ask you something. <sighs> I knew it. Nope. What's on your mind? Are you trying to ask about my father or my mother? Um, neither. Yeah, I don't care about your personal life, I bro. I just wanted to know if you've ever heard about death in the dreamscape. Oh, you sound just like my father. Always warning me about danger, even in dreams. Could you stop making everything about your damn father? I don't care about him. <laughs> He's an Intellitron, so what? his dream entry methods are different from us organics. How? Can't count on him to protect me if something does go haywire. Funny, right now I'm still under his protection. Huh. How ironic. Wait, what? To wait. Can in intellect? What? Your father's an Intellitron? Aren't they robots? How? Bi biology is not working there for me, buddy. How? <laughs> hey, stay positive. Gold will always shine one day, right? Hmm. Well, that, that got me a whole lot nowhere. So glad. Hmm. Dangers in the dream and nightmare ghosts. Well, surely death is a popular topic in this dream granted by the family. Well, I've collected a bunch of rumors, but not useful clues. Hmm. Uh, the gems in my bag are running low. Well, let's see if my last lucky interviewee brings some surprises. Yeah, sorry, sorry if I'm doing that, by the way, like a lot. I just want to listen out for the whole voice line, and, and I don't know, I just kind of find this attack animation kind of funny. <laughs> just, just have him just constantly snap his fingers. Also, does he wink as well? Okay, I thought he winked in his attack for a second there, like Sampo does. Okay, but last one. Uh, yes, from the ice cream shop. That ah, shit. 
Remember what I said? Uh, you Sigonians are better off hiding in the sewers. Sparkle? Fucking... Really? Look Not now. You, snooping around and sticking your nose everywhere. Oh, boy. Is the smell of death so enticing, my fine fellow? Uh, great. <laughs> oh, it's you, masked fool. I should have guessed it. You're the imposter who appeared on TV after Robin's death, right? I heard you got caught by the family. I gave you a clear clue. Befriend a mute. Simple and straightforward, you know? Mm. And what did you do? You messed it up and ended up as their prisoner. I told you to make friends with a mute, not become one yourself. You really let me down. What do you mean? You know better than I do. Who watched the little songbird that couldn't sing perish right before their eyes? You did, Blondie. Hmm. No, I mean... What did you mean by becoming one myself? Yeah, wait. M yeah, mute, mute means like someone who can't talk, right? Well... It means you'll soon end up like her, unable to speak ever again. Oh, shit. <laughs> but oh. it's a good thing if you ask me, because... Because I'm getting closer to the truth, right? <laughs> but are you actually going to give answers? Oh? Yeah. Why else do you think I'm handing out cheap trinkets all over the streets, fool? Yeah. All part of the act. Fool's bait. The more pathetic I seem, the more likely you'll come see. What? <laughs> Big brain move. So, Holy shit. Now that I've drawn you out, will you reward me with an answer for my efforts? Nah. <laughs> Good luck dying. Do, 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 do. <laughs> she just runs off. <laughs> Why should I help you? Don't you want to see Panacone descend into chaos? Uh. Well, I can make that happen. I just need an answer to one question. Back then. Oh boy, she's still smiling. Me to find a mute. Ooh, chaos! I like chaos. <laughs> Did you really mean Robin? Hmm. And what if I say no? Or the mute could be me, because I never fucking speak. Then I'll thank you. <laughs> oh, the word no has never sounded so pleasing. Hmm. <laughs> well done. I admit I underestimated you. But what difference would it make? Let me tell you something. There were two mutes. But one is dead now, hmm. and the other, though he's still in Penacony, I'm afraid you'll never find him again. He. Okay, so it's not me. <laughs> I picked Stell. Sunday? Hmm. Now I'm completely sure that I was on the right track from the beginning and never strayed, fool. Right now, there are only two things missing from my grasp. The meaning behind the truth, and the means to expose it. <laughs> How impressive. That's quite a fancy way of saying I haven't learned anything so far. Not exactly. I've gathered enough clues to prove its existence. And that's enough for me. As for the answers to my questions, I'll find them within 17, no, 16 system hours. Oh, really? Only 16 system hours? Well, let me lend you a hand. You're going to help for once? <laughs> Here you go. This is my precious, mutually assured distraction button. What the? And oh. I have one just like it. <laughs> when either of us presses it, the other and the whole of Penacony will go up in smoke. Wait, that's the shit she was spreading around in her story quest, right? <laughs> if you're really so desperate for the IPC to take over Penacony, 
Blowing up the chessboard isn't a bad idea. Start from scratch. That's where the IPC excels, right? Just press the button when you're at your wit's end. And of course, feel free to reach out to me for my hospice care, too. Hmm. Hospice care. <laughs> oh, a deadly button, huh? <laughs> Well, I guess the family didn't take your threat seriously at all. Otherwise, how on earth did you manage to bring it in here? <laughs> That's a good question, <laughs> actually. No That's all you need to know. <laughs> well, I'm afraid I'll have to decline your offer. Who knows if your little gadget will actually work. Damn it! <laughs> By the way, I have no plans to search for the other mute friend you speak of. But it's good to hear that he's still here in Pentagoni. Who? Who's this other mute friend? I'll handle the rest myself. I'll orchestrate a grand finale for the downfall of the family. <laughs> and at the climax, the walls will crumble, people will wake up, hmm. and those who couldn't speak will find their voices again. When that time comes, go ahead, press the button, Light up the sky with a magnificent fireworks display for me. Catch you later, fool. <laughs> You're still talking big. But sure, if that happens, I'll stay true to my word. Just don't let me down now, okay? Hmm. Sparkle's interesting. <laughs> like, I, I can't tell what side she's on. Does she want to save Pentagon or does she... Wish for the destruction of it. I can't tell. Or is she just here to just witness the chaos <laughs> unfold? I feel like she's just here to just... Yeah, she doesn't care what the outcome is. She just wants, like, all chaos to just break loose. Hmm. Yeah, really hard to tell what side <laughs> she takes in this. Oh. Oh, the, the fucking slave mark, yeah. Uh. So, number 35, you're back. Like your new lucky charm. That is a slave tattoo. But it says 35, but not, not slave, I think. Can a commodity code really be considered a lucky charm? Silence! I didn't give you permission to speak, you Sigonian hound. Jeez. <sighs> The guys in black didn't say much, so I've no idea what you did to save your skin in that massacre back in the day. But I figured you must have had good luck, so I bought you. From Ugh. now on, you and your good luck are my assets. <laughs> your first task is simple. In addition to you, I've purchased 30, uh, well... 34 other slaves. Jesus, what? Go and play a game with them. You came out alive after two days. It proves that you are the real deal. You're insane. <laughs> Testing out if you're a good product. Christ. Uh, aren't you worried that the money you spent on me will go to waste? I've got stacks on stacks, Blondie. The slave market is never short of self-righteous brats like you. But you look good, and that's why many customers are betting their fortunes on a scrawny brat like you. So go along now, and uh, don't let your master down. Wait... I'm recognizing this voice. Hang on, let me play it again. But you look good. That's not Gallagher, is it? It sounds like him. Don't tell me Gallagher's a slave owner. I, that would change my view of him entirely. Maybe it's just his voice actor voicing somebody else and not actually him, but it sounds a lot like him. Hmm. Yeah, yeah that confirms that that's a slave tattoo. Yeah. How much did you spend? What? My price. How much did you pay? For me. Yeah, Jesus, you look at the, the fucking scars and everything. His clothes aren't even on right. 
Jeez. <laughs> Man, if anything, yeah, this 2.1 is making me feel real, real bad for Aventurine. Huh. You really want to know? Hmm. Well, it was 60 Tanba. No more, no less. That's it? Just 60? I'll take my chances. 30 Tanba. If I come back alive, you'll give me 30 Tanba. Deal? <laughs> Are you trying to strike a bet with me? Oh, well, you've got some guts. It really sounds a lot like Gallagher. It's... I hope it's not actually him. I, th I hope it's just like an NPC Gallagher's VA just voices. Yeah, sorry, but uh, that won't do. Don't forget your place, slave. You're not qualified to be at the table. You're just a chip. A life thrown away in someone else's hands. Either you come back with more chips for your master, or you never come back. It's all or nothing. Don't embarrass me, my lucky hound. Dude, fuck this guy. I hope we killed him, Aventurine. <laughs> yep, and now back to Trailblazer's side. Okay. Huh. What brings you here, Gallagher? Oh, hey! There's a, there's a really unusually hot NPC. <laughs> but damn, though, that was, that's fucked up. What happened to Aventurine? Nice. Yeah, <laughs> if anything... Yeah, I'm starting to regret hating him now. Hating, hating Aventurine at the beginning. Some friends from the old days. Do you have a moment to spare, Siobhan? Siobhan? I would pronounce it Siobhan <laughs> if he didn't say that. Siobhan, okay. Oh, I have a whole day to spare. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dream Jolt Hostelry. And yep, that's the NPC that has a fucking killer design. Why aren't you playable? <laughs> This bar offers a wide variety of drinks, but we draw the line at Soul Glad. Why settle for ordinary when you can experience extraordinary? We're dedicated to serving up nothing but pure joy and laughter. <laughs> Is that Catherine's voice actor? Catherine from Fire Emblem Three Houses? It sounds a lot like her. She even looks like her too. What would you like to drink? I'll whip it up for you. Oh look, a lady as cool as Sir Ball. True. She's cool indeed. I think she is Serval. <laughs> Who's Serval? Will you uh, introduce me to her? Huh? Oops. <laughs> She's heard us. Sure, sure. Sure thing. Just spare them, my esteemed bartender. I'll take over the bar today. I'm getting up there in age, and I need some practice before I forget the skills that used to put food on my table. Uh, where did you stash the ingredients? They're all under the counter. Since our guests have traveled from afar, shouldn't you whip up some special drinks? That's exactly what I had in mind. Yep. Hey, my friends, do me a favor. Go around the bar and bring me any ingredients what? you fancy. Why me? <laughs> Isn't getting the ingredients a bartender's job? The discussion might take quite some time. So I'll prepare some customized non-alcoholic drinks for you. Damn it. In the bar? But... Aren't all the ingredients right there on the counter? Why, we're in a dream, my lovely lady. You can help yourself to anything if you wish for it. Comfort, hunger, confusion, or even boredom. It's all within reach, right at your fingertips. <laughs> oh, did you hear that? She just called me my lovely lady. <laughs> even in reality, mixing drinks is more than just throwing ingredients together. A bartender needs to capture the bar's atmosphere, master technique, and spin a tale of mystery and anticipation. Only then can a perfect drink crafted with a customer's life story be created. Oh yeah, there's gonna be an event later on with her, right? As a like bartending event. In other words, what you get from your drink is down to luck. So don't overthink it. Indecisiveness has no place when it comes to enjoyment. Okay, I guess I get to choose. Okay, collect ingredients for drinks. Hey, Traveler's POB. Traveler, Trailblazer, fucker. <laughs> so I got get you on the mind, as you can see. It's way simpler than you'd imagine. Just pick your favorite ingredients, toss them in a glass, mix it up, and it's done. So go ahead, explore the bar, and bring me any ingredients you prefer. Okay. Go ahead, my friend. I'm sure you'll find splendid ingredients. Okay, and what about you, Sioban? Let me tell you, 
Don't want to underestimate the bartenders of Penagoni, especially not Gallagher. This guy is pure magic. He can satisfy even the pickiest of customers. Don't go easy on this old man. Give him a real challenge. <laughs> Fucking yeah, I don't know why they designed it like this NPC so well. Fucking cool ass tomboy looking fucking bartender <laughs> and yeah i don't know why they didn't put so much effort into a, like an npc we're probably gonna see like twice <laughs> uh okay but uh where's the ingredients oh here we go um there's that um anything else okay there's okay there's this as well okay just these two sides really hmm check out this bottle the liquid inside looks beautiful, and the label reads, Dream Syrup, Thick. <laughs> I don't see an expiration date, but the production date is... Half an amber era ago. Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> Ugh, drinking this stuff can't lead to anything good, that's for sure. <laughs> then why is it here? <laughs> Maybe it hasn't expired, but I thought we could drink anything in dreams. Uh, that's true. doesn't seem fresh did you find the bottle of syrup i've been hoarding don't worry it's all just a dream and it won't upset your stomach okay it's been aging for years and should have a refined taste by now <laughs> watch you hesitate there perfect for entertaining lovely guests like you uh, then we'll keep it for now okay <laughs> recipe dream syrup okay uh what else can I find in here? Is it just those two? Oh, what? Oh, what's this? Uh, hey, look at all these chips scattered everywhere. A few days ago, an actor from the Iris family came. Huh. Got the ruckus with Siobhan. Those chips must have gotten scattered during all the chaos. Yes, let's use these as ingredients. I can only imagine how intense the scene has been. So enemies drop coins even in the dream? <laughs> That's a clever metaphor. Uh, that being said, opening a bar in this place, filled with monsters, is quite a feat. Siobhan must have a lot of tricks up her sleeve, right? Oh yeah, she actually serves the monsters, actually. You'll have to ask her yourself to find out. But I have a feeling she won't budge unless you impress her with an incredible drink. Uh, that's quite a stash. Not sure if oh. it's enough. Oh, recipe high stakes. Oh wait, no. Wait, I can make this. <laughs> I can put this in my drink. I'm looking for Siobhan. Oh, uh, who the fuck? What's all the commotion about? Who is who is you? Hang on, I want to look at this thing as well. Hold up. Uh, can this be used for mixing drinks? Oh, and there's a note underneath. Exchange with your precious things. What? <laughs> what should we exchange for it? And who should we give our stuff to? Uh, give praise high morales. Give 50,000 credits to give a bag of trash. <laughs> uh, trash, have it. You put a bag of trash into the empty cup. <laughs> this food Hey, what are you doing? You can't just throw trash. Uh, no way. The words on the note are changing. Whoa. Happiness is the dream of the humble. What? <laughs> Wait. Does this mean we can take it? <laughs> Wait, the cup accepted the trash? Weird about this. Okay, hell yeah, give me that. Let's get crunk. Recycle the one trash. <laughs> Recipe bright future. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> Why is there a snow globe on a fire? Okay, I, I have no clue how giving trash lets at that outcome, but cool, I suppose. Uh, okay. Is there any more recipes around here I can get? May chance. Oh, hey, Miko. Oh, there's a thing right here. Uh. All right. I'm so glad, but I thought they didn't sell Soul Glad at the bar. Uh, let's give it a shake. Nice. It's still busy and has a long shelf life. I'd rather not take it. Maybe someone else brought it here. Uh, it's maybe it's placing for decoration. Don't. It's no good for our drink if, if all shaken up. Maybe it's place here for decoration. Yeah, perhaps. So glad is a classic in Penaconi, and it'd be strange for a bar not to have it. Why don't they sell Soul Glad in this bar? Did something happen? 
It's all about the bartender's pride. Oh. It wouldn't make sense for customers to come here and order drinks they can find anywhere else. That's the mindset I use when I brew my coffee. Uh, <laughs> you're right, Himeko. I was wondering why I couldn't talk to you. Okay, you're part of this. It's classic so glad. Okay. Uh, before I approach that woman, I want to see what else, uh, what other recipes I can get. Because, yeah, I found like four. Is there like a fifth here, may chance? Probably not. Was busy playing it yesterday? How do your Akron pulse go? Oh, <laughs> well, you can see right here. Yeah, I got her. <laughs> Green four. Luckily, I, yeah, 150 50. If I lost, I would have been devastated, to say the least. Uh, okay, I don't see any other recipes, so let's go see what's the ruckus over there. Or, you know, we can just leave and get out of here. <laughs> nah. Okay, who is you, Missy? <sighs> Haven't I made myself clear enough, Miss Amiki? Amiki? The old hostelry only welcomes guests who want to enjoy a drink to their heart's content. I'm sorry, but I'm not interested in your proposal. But you have the talent. You'll attract a huge audience. <laughs> You're destined for the Iris stage, not for this rundown shack. <laughs> You're destined to be a playable character, not to be just some random NPC in a bartendering event. <laughs> Come with me. We'll become the talk of Penacony, a shining <laughs> light into every corner of the dreamscape. Please. Siobhan, I really need you. <laughs> POV, the Honkai Star Rail players begging to let Shilbai be a playable character. <sighs> As you see, I'm entertaining my guests. Don't make me repeat myself. Fine. If you don't come along, I'll just sit here and not go anywhere else. Yep. Give me a sparkling drink. Sweet. With extra ice. Just... One moment. What's her deal? We can't discuss the case with other people hanging around the bar. We gotta, we gotta give her chloroform. Hey, can you do that clockwork trick of yours again? Oh, gladly. Just what I've been waiting for. How come even you, Himiko? Yes. Yeah, I'm counting on you. All right, make her sad as shit. You're one of Siobhan's guests, right? What can I do for you? If you're here to convince me to leave, please stop it. I'll never leave until she accepts my proposal. Okay, a bit pushy there, lady. I just don't get why she won't leave this place. This rundown shack with no customers whatsoever. Siobhan just said anything can be embedded. Perhaps you can try various experiments to see what different emotions can brew with different drink ingredients. Uh, okay. She's calm right now. Uh, I have the feeling making her piss is a bad idea, but that's exactly why I want to do it. Let's make her piss. Let's make her angry. I, I just want to see. Boop. <laughs> She's gonna fucking kill her right right here now. <laughs> Good to hear, since you were considering pulling uh, the magic card, the technique really makes exploration a race. Oh yeah, Akron's technique is busted. <laughs> really, really busted. Okay, but yes, let's see Amiki's pissed. <laughs> Those darn Iris jerks! They're the ones who forced Shaban into hiding here. Oh. Running this pesky bar? It's all their dirty scheming. Huh. I get it now. She's not leaving because she doesn't want to run into them again. I I can help clear the way for her. <laughs> I can do her a favor. I'll go back and write a letter to the Dream Master exposing the crimes committed by the Iris family. Siobhan will definitely appreciate it. You know, something tells me she does, she would not appreciate it. Okay, that, 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 that didn't work. I just don't get why she uh, let's try this again. Uh, angry, happy, sad, hmm. What to pick? I just don't get. 
Uh, let's go. No, I feel like she's happy. No, actually, no, maybe happy would be the right choice. Then again, I feel like sad can also be the, the right choice as well. I want to get the wrong choices first, so... Hmm... Which one is the wrong choice? Uh, I feel like sad would make her leave. And happy would convince her to stay, so we'll go happy first. I've seen it. The moment when Siobhan and I share the stage... Okay, I feel like this is the wrong answer, but that's good. <laughs> the crowd is going wild. Applause crashing like waves. The aroma of irises fills the air. A beautiful melody playing. Ribbons dancing around us. And the taste is sweeter than honey. Oh boy, lesbian alert. <laughs> I've seen... That scene countless times in my dreams, and every time it mesmerizes me. <laughs> That's why I have to bring her back to that world, no matter what it takes. Okay, this is not this is not gonna make her leave. <laughs> no. <laughs> Want to raise a glass, my attentive listener? Let's consider it a toast to my far-fetched. Dream. Oh, okay. Now maybe that was the right answer. Never mind. I just got a recipe. Maybe I'll have to try again. Hey, I got a new recipe out of that though. Pika white grape soda. Hmm. Wait, what the? Pika. Ah, uh, fuck you. <laughs> Lame ass Pokemon reference. Okay. I just don't. Okay, so sad is the right answer. I think. Yeah. It's ridiculous, right? No. <laughs> Our paths were never meant to cross, yet I'm still holding on to her. I'm too timid and shy, longing to shine, but afraid of. Oh boy. <laughs> oh no. I need her guidance because. I'll never be able to do anything alone. You don't know Siobhan's past, and you have no clue how radiant she used to be. Even among the talented Iris family, her skill was unmatched. I know she probably thinks I'm just trying to ride her fame to get ahead. But all I want is for her to reclaim her place. Even it's an inexplicable bitterness and sweetness that permeates the air. The next moment, the emotion that turns into liquid filling your goblet. Well, talking to you has got me feeling a bit down. <laughs> my thoughts are swirling, making my mind clear, and bringing tears to my eyes. Maybe. I should find a place to reflect on what Siobhan truly means to me. Here's the payment for the drinks. Please, pass it on to her. I'm leaving now. Oh. <laughs> is left? <laughs> I somewhat feel bad, but you know, that's what needed to happen. That's good for her. Radiant dreams may be enticing, but they're nothing more than dreams. Her drink is on the house. Please keep the money. When you're ready, go to Gallagher. <laughs> I can tell he's itching to show off his skills. Yeah. <laughs> is that like the sprite like drink they inspired IRL? I think so. Oh wow, I got like six recipes. Holy shit. Do I have to only pick one? How many do I have? Yes, uh, freaking six of them. Uh, Eternal Endurance. Pika White Grape Soda. High Stakes. Uh, Bright Future. Classic So Glad. Dream Syrup. Can I use all of them? I want to I do all of them, honestly. That being said, mixing a drink is way simpler than you'd imagine. Just pick your favorite ingredients. Okay, so he said the same ahead. thing. 
Explore the bar. Uh, I got it all the ingredients I need. Nice work. Let me take a look. You found some interesting ingredients there. Now, take your pick. Each drink has its own unique flavor. And the base ingredient sets the tone for the initial taste. Okay, I can use multiple. Aftertaste. Okay. So, which one would you like to use as the base? Uh, okay, a lot of these. Let's use the Pika... Part of me wants to do the expired drink, but at the same time, I want the Pika White Grape Soda, yes. The original formula is said to be Hanunu's favorite drink. It's sour and bitter, and the bubbles burst in your throat like swallowing rusty chains, evoking thoughts of dungeons and prisons. Now that you've chosen the base, it's time to pick the adjunct. The ingredient that'll create a marvelous chemical reaction with the base. It should give an unforgettable taste without overpowering the main tone. Okay. So what's your choice for the adjunct? Uh, Eternal Endurance. Bright Future. Fuck, I can only pick one of these. Uh, it's between these two for me. Hmm. Part of me wants the Bright Future. But at the same time, I feel like I'm meant to use the internal endurance. Sure, mix these two together, why not? The taste is... not very intense, yet evocative. After those despicables sent Mikhail away, yep. I found myself lost in hey. the wilderness of my dreams. Mikhail! They say that even the dirt here oozes with sweetness. <sighs> All I tasted was stoic bitterness. Tell me more about this Mikhail. Because, cause, yeah, that was the name screamed out in the dreamland, right? Mikhail. Yeah. Almost there. Let's pick a decoration. Which style do you prefer? Anything you need, I've got it. Uh, straws of concentrated circles, coin shaped lime slices, Hanu sign. Sure, we'll, we'll go with Hanu. Symbol of bravery and dauntlessness. May you break free from your shackles just like he did. Well, it's done. Uh, whoa! Here's to you, Trailblazer. With this blast of even the wicked. Even the wicked. Oh, I would drink that. That looks fucking tasty. To the sad truth. Uh, cool. Yeah, to the sad truth. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Gallagher. You're not over the hill yet. Hmm, part of me wonders. Uh, part of me wants to go back and like make those other drinks. I hope we can do that in the bartender event. <laughs> So, are you satisfied? Oh, the flavors! They're way more sophisticated than Soul Glad! The richness and layers of these flavors are a masterpiece, especially with the adjuncts. I can taste the spicy and sour notes with a hint of sweetness. Mmm, that sounds good, honestly. I'm not entirely sure what it all means. Maybe Mr. Gallagher can shed some light on it. <clears throat> Well, if you're expecting a profound answer, I'm afraid I'll disappoint you. The imagery it implies is pretty straightforward. It's just a glimpse of what this dream truly tastes like. Nothing huh. more. What does dream taste like? Does this true taste have anything to do with that, Mikhail? Please elaborate on Mikhail. I heard the same in my dream. Yeah, that name does sound familiar. When you got knocked out by that masked fool girl, I think I heard someone calling that name. Do you remember? Wait, how did you know? Wait, you were with me when Sparkle knocked me out. What? <laughs> <sighs> I was right about you. You guys seem to know quite a bit. And now there's no reason to hide anything from you anymore. Mm -hmm. Let's dig deeper into the case. And of course, I'll tell you a story about Mikhail. Please do. All right. Let's start with what we know based on the clues the family has. It seems that Firefly isn't a local or an invited guest. In other words, she's a stowaway. One that the Bloodhound family is apparently unaware of. She managed to fool me at first. My age must be getting the best of me. But here on the planet of festivities, stowaways are a common sight. You're bound to run into one sooner or later. After the incident, the Hounds wasted no time searching for that girl in both the dreamscape and reality. But here's the thing. We only received bad news. And the trickiest kind at that. She simply vanished. Huh. Leaving no trace in the dreamscape or reality. As if she had never come to Penacony at all. What? 
Huh? Does that mean... She only exists in the dream? Death eradicate her. Maybe things will turn out different than what we think. Is she a ghost? Mm, let's not joke about that. Maybe things will turn out different than we think. Different? Are you suggesting that girl wasn't actually killed? Come on. Aren't you a witness in this case? Let me be frank. This case, actually, is unlike anything the Bloodhound family has dealt with before. Dealt with before? So, <coughs> death does happen in Panacone, uh -huh. if I understand correctly. You've witnessed it, so there's no need to hide. Even the shiniest city has its dark side. We're all adults here. Surely I don't need to explain too much to you. Confronting the family based on that alone would be naive. Death may occur in sweet dreams. So what? Such events are highly unlikely and only affect a tiny number of people. Doesn't mean we shouldn't prevent it, though. Like, come on. If you want to delve deeper into this case, you need to understand the true problem with the family. And what is this true problem? I guess it's time to tell the story of that Mikhail. Please. You're very perceptive. The Astral Express has received that music box too, right? Do you know the secrets it holds? No. There's a message. Witness the impossible in the Right, why does life slumber, yeah. Find the legacy of the Watchmaker, father of Penacony, and thus the answer to the question, why does life slumber? Also, yeah, Acheron said that as well in the previous uh, act. <laughs> That's the exact wording. Actually, you know, when she was talking with Welt that one time, actually, I think she said that. Hey, why are you laughing? Wait, did you write it? It's quite poetic. Wait, did he? Huh. Or did he also receive the message? No, but I'm the officer in charge of this case. So how could I not know? Okay. I'm sure you must have noticed that this message didn't come from the family. You might have even guessed that the relationship between the family and the watchmaker isn't as close as it seems. That's just our speculation. Actually, it's hard to believe that the father of Penacone and its actual managers are at odds. Mm -hmm. Now I can assure you that your speculation is absolutely correct. Huh. The family has considered the Watchmaker an enemy for a long time. Ooh. But the Hounds haven't been able to track him down, as he seems to be living only in the characters and stories he created. <gasps> the Watchmaker is clocky! Confirmed! Nah, Let me ask you probably a not. Have you ever wondered why the family allowed the Watchmaker to send out such a ridiculous message to the outside world, inviting you here and causing chaos? Hmm. So, you want to seize this opportunity to expose the Watchmaker? Well, now you understand why the Oak family authorized the Nameless to assist in the investigation, but kept you in the dark, right? Because the Watchmaker is not the legend of the land of the dreams at all. Oh. He's the most shameful stain in the history of Penacone. He's evil. He's the root cause of all the anomalies in the dreamscape. But what does that have to do with Mikhail, exactly? You don't get it? Well, I mean... Wait... Mikhail is the Watchkeeper. Mikhail? The betrayer of the family? Oh, okay, I was just joking. He's the Watchmaker. Oh... Okay, I guess now the question is, who the fuck is Mikhail? <laughs> and where the hell can we find him? Here we are. Oh. Studios theme park. oh, this new area. Popular entertainment center in Penacone. Yes, Disneyland. Wait, aren't we supposed to be discussing the Watchmaker? I would have expected you to take the culture of a city reflects. Ah, oh, fuck! I did, skipped it. Sorry, March. Wait, aren't we supposed to be discussing the Watchmaker? I would have expected you to take us to maybe a library or an archive room of sorts, but an amusement park. Okay, yeah, didn't mean to skip it there. The suit matches to a certain wavelength at, and at a music box that feels out of tune. True, it's been a while since I heard the music box, but I didn't think it sounded right. Hmm. The culture of a city is its history in the most authentic way. To you, it's a fun place. 
But to me, it's a prison for the planet's past. Really now? <laughs> you know that Penacone used to be the IPC's prison planet, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. All the prisoners were brought here, helping the Garden of Recollection salvage the leaking memoria from the macro void. The prolonged exposure to high concentrations of memoria caused a unique phenomenon. The dreams of countless prisoners intersected and overlapped, and people started meeting each other in their dreams, living lives that were almost identical to reality. But everything has a price, and sweet dreams are no exception. In the end, the dream world was unable to alleviate the suffering of prisoners in reality. Hmm. One of the prisoners broke free from the IPC shackles and fought for freedom. He is Hanu, the great leader of Dreamville, the great peacemaker, and the faithful companion of the underdogs. Hmm. What are the prisoners broke? Oh, wait, so Hanu's an actual person. Hmm. So the character Hanu is based off a real life person. So that clocky cartoon is actually a documentary. History is always written by the winners. However, it's undeniable that Clocky is an animation that draws from Penacone's actual history. These characters not only exist in Dreamville, but also in the distant past. Once you realize this, you'll understand why we're here. Hmm. Drop so of the heart stuff. Of the Bloodhound family. I was gonna say, yeah, there's so many fucking guards up there. Why? We just received a lockdown order, supposedly from Sunday himself. Oh. Who knows what it's for? Ooh, I can uh, probably figure that one out. Where's the abundance calx uh, for Gallagher? Time to unlock it. I think yeah. I already have. Oop. So many of them. I've never seen anything like this. Even when they're tracking down suspects. Hmm. Can you convince them to let, uh, yeah. Can you convince them to let us in? It's pretty impressive from out here. Well, it's a masterpiece from the family, after all. Besides the followers of the preservation, the family members are the best at creating mind-blowing marvels. Let's find a quiet spot and continue our conversation. You, you got it. Great, right? We can see everything from here, including Clocky. If all the characters in the animation are based on characters in reality, then Clocky's counterpart is definitely the Watchmaker. Ah! Clocky is evil! <laughs> we figured it out! He is evil! Holy shit! In the animation, he's Hanu's partner and one of the founders of Dreamville. Does that mean the Watchmaker was personally involved in that war and sided with Asdana? It was a monumental war for freedom. Hanunu fought alongside a motley crew of masked fools, nameless, history fictionologists, mourning actors, omen vanguards, Jeez. even visitors from beyond the sky. In the end, they emerged victorious. Among them was the person who would eventually be known as the Watchmaker. But if you do the math, doesn't that mean the Watchmaker was around for Several centuries? I'm not sure, but Mikhail was already the watchmaker when I met him. So maybe he inherited the title. Oh, you actually met him in person, okay. How old are you now, Mr. Officer? <laughs> do, do you want to know? Look into my eyes. Ask that fucking question again. I dare you. <laughs> I'm 13. What? What? Your third? What? <sighs> no way. Not even close. Hanunu freed the frontier prison. What? But peace. Was he joking? Please tell me you're joking. How? No, there's no way you're fucking 13 with that kind of facial hair. With limited resources, threats from the outside world, and internal conflicts between major prison districts, the future of Ostana was uncertain. He has to be joking. Hey, Goblins, it's been a while. Hey, welcome back to the stream. Welcome, welcome. He is 13? He's not lying at all? What? Bro. <laughs> we God damn it. Not again. We're all fucking sipping for someone who's underage again. God fucking damn it. Uh, uh, what? He's act what? I called this man a fucking giga chat so many fucking streams and now and now you reveal to me that he's just fucking 13 
<laughs> Why? Why Sarail? Why? <laughs> what the shit? <laughs> it wasn't until the watchmaker approached the family with the idea of turning the prison into the planet of festivities that Penacone finally gained its name and glory. Thus, he became known as the father of Penacone. But didn't you say the watchmaker betrayed the family? And you said you were his companion, so that means you... No. I'm not his companion. What? <laughs> but rather one of his many children. What? I can't take all these fucking bombshell reveals right now. What the fuck? <laughs> What in the actual shit? I'm one of his, the watchmaker's many children. But I am indeed a traitor. Not to the family, but to Mikhail. To puberty? Puberty hit this man quite hard, huh? <laughs> I'm still trying to wrap my head around that. How the fuck are you 13? <laughs> Just keep playing it all and make sense? Like, I hope. I hope so. Cause what the fuck? What did you do? <sighs> I did nothing. And that's the worst betrayal of all. Just like you, I had close companions. We dedicated ourselves to Penacone. But the Oak family, they set us up. Mikhail was too old to protect his children anymore. So we left the family to find our own path. While well, they continue to praise the Watchmaker's name in the world, behind closed doors, they condemn him on a pillar of shame. Nevertheless, we wanted to clear his name. Okay. We intended to find the real traitor, the one responsible for all this, and restore harmony to Penacone. But we failed. Too much time had passed. And the land of the dreams had become deeply corrupted. After countless fruitless pursuits, I gave up. Like a lost dog. Okay, I think I've recovered from the shock of him being 13. I wanna... I wanna... <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna pay attention for reals now. The family accepted me and made me an officer. Hmm. Supposedly as a form of forgiveness. But it was actually a punishment. Since then, I've been completely cut off from my partners and my past. As for Mikhail, I heard he died in obscurity, in a place where no one could find him. Jeez. That's when I realized that the Penacone I once knew would never return. We're truly sorry for what happened. But this is not the end of the story, right? Hmm. Apparently, someone has inherited the title of the Watchmaker and has been secretly working against the family all this time. Hmm, okay. So the second Watchmaker. And who can that person be? Is the Watchmaker an organization? Well, that's one way to look at it. However, only one member has truly inherited the Watchmaker's title. Who? Unfortunately, after all these years, okay. I have no idea who that person is. Or if they're even real. Or just Mikhail's lost soul haunting the dreams. That'd be creepy. So, do you understand why I'm spilling all this info? Because I believe the girl's death must be connected to the Watchmaker's legacy. Mm. At the end of all these mysteries, we will find the answers we are seeking. If it really is Mikhail's ghost, I want to meet him. If only for the last time. For those who despise me could form a line from here all the way to the entrance of the hotel. But those willing to look me in the eye and hear me out? Let's just say, there won't be many. Uh. I've told you all I know is a sign of gratitude. Thank you for listening to this old dog. Bark and all. Hmm? Uh, something just happened at the theme park. Ah. Uh. Now, if you'll excuse me, good luck to all of you. How ironic. What's so different between the stowaways projected by Penacone today and the dream seekers once hailed as pioneers several amber eras ago? Not much, I reckon. 
does have a troubled past, it seems. He's a troubled everything. <laughs> I'm so trying to wrap my head around it. While Firefly's whereabouts remain a mystery, his stories shed light on our suspicions about the true identity of the Watchmaker, his connection to the family, and the power struggles hidden behind sweet dreams and death. And, and that the family isn't all united. Exactly. Gallagher suggests that the real traitor is someone else. Probably within the Oak family. And that death is related to the Watchmaker. That lines up with what we've gathered so far. Firefly got involved in this mess because of the legacy. And now we're sure that Aventurine's accusations against Acheron are baseless. Right, and also he said, like, yeah, he, he did that as a, as a farce. And the clocky is based on the Watchmaker. Uh, you're really into clocky, huh? He's just a fictional character, not a real person. No, March, you don't get it. I met him in person. Speaking of which, <laughs> that Clocky who only reveals himself to you is quite intriguing. It's a shame we've never met him since then. That pretty much sums it up. Now that we've confirmed a lot of our suspicions, let's take a moment to think about the clues we have. Send a message to Welt and see how things are going on his end. Yeah, okay, yeah. Hey, Welts, how you, uh, how's your chat with, uh, Akron going? Not too bad. The Galaxy Ranger and I agree that the family might be hiding something extremely important. We're now heading to Dewlight Pavilion. Akron, huh? Didn't she, didn't eventually say she was dangerous? I uh, confirmed that she's on our side. Don't worry. Please wait a while. I'll keep you posted as soon as I find anything. Okay. Oh, and now we're going to Acheron's POV, okay. Are companions worried about you? They're just checking up on me. Let's get in and get out. Seems they've made some progress. Looks like we're about to enter the depths of Dewlight Pavilion. Oh wait, we're, we're also still wearing, um, Sunday's Palace. It's been a smooth ride. Almost too smooth for a heavily guarded mansion. Let's see if there's anyone waiting to greet us. Let's see, indeed. Okay. Acheron's POV, Beyond Good and Evil. Okay, so we have like three POVs now, right? Yeah, Acheron, me, and... And Aventurine, yeah. Okay, then after this, this is Aventurine's POV. Back to there. Also, um... Yeah, team includes Acheron. I'll just use my Acheron for this one. Not the trial version. Actually, does it give me the trial version? Okay, it does. Oh, we're gonna... Our paths cross once more. Ready I... for another dance, Memo Keeper? Okay, you can stop flirting with each other for now. Hang on. Um... Our paths cross once more. Okay, you can stop saying that. Okay. Uh, I want to look at the Trial Acheron stats, but it won't let me. I'm assuming she has, like, a signature like him, but, uh, yeah, I'll use my Acheron for the meantime. Oh, yep, we're back here again. Hey. <laughs> Something feels off. A grand mansion like this and not a butler or servant in sight. Could it be due to the disruption caused by the emergency? Also, um, why is the door open? <laughs> we don't need to do the puzzle all over again. So, well, what's going on here? Open. Looks like we'll have to investigate ourselves. Let's proceed with caution. Just one moment. Oh yeah, I'm aware I can look at yeah, Aventurine's stats uh, when I trial him. Akron juice her blades slightly. I've made myself less noticeable. The crew can explain their presence as authorized by the family, but I can't come up with any excuses for being here. I see. What an interesting technique. <laughs> Doing exploration, Akron's technique to attack normal enemies will... Yeah, I know. I can insta-kill. <laughs> Yeah, I'm aware, like, yeah, when I trial them out, I can, like, check up their stats. Um, yeah, pressing C. Actually, yeah, I should try that with, like, uh, like, yeah, the trial Acheron. So my Acheron is, like, 64, 134, using Nihility, Light Cone, uh, Good Night Sleep Well, and 26, yeah, 2600 attack, so... Yeah, we'll give, uh, trial Acheron a try, see if she's better than mine. Uh, well, that's if I get into combat. The model in the sand pit. Yep, oh, same here again, yep. Golden hour, isn't it? The footprints here are different from the rest. Oh! <laughs> Die! 
Looks like outsiders might All of you perish. <laughs> also, what's this on the floor? Oh, footprints. Can you identify the people who left these footprints? Ratio and Aventurine? Well, there's a unique pattern here. Flamboyant, even. And judging by the size, I'd say these were men's shoes. Uh-huh. If I'm right, it could be the IPC ambassador, Aventurine. Aventurine. What about the other set? It looks like they were walking side by side as opposed to one behind the other. So the second individual is likely equal in status to Aventurine. The IPC is eager to reclaim Panacone, so their presence here is not unexpected. Right. <laughs> You're probably not, I'm probably not going to get into a fight here because I'm just too busy just fucking slashing these foes down. Oh, uh, there aren't any people in this mansion. I've set up quite a few mimetic guards to patrol this place. Okay, well, now you give me a choice. Beneath ah shit, autoplay! <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I need to turn that off, honestly. Yeah, forget the auto bow preference. This is where it is. Okay, uh, let's see this Akron stats. 78, 200. Okay, better than mine. And like 3,000 attack. Okay, way better than my Akron. Yeah, I think I'll use Trial Akron for now. <laughs> Still and I think he has like a signature light cone as well. I'm Let's go. I am the storm that it's approaching. 200k, Jesus Christ. <laughs> now. Okay, that kind of hurt uh, a bit. Not too much, thankfully. Break you. Dun, 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 ba da bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Free with destiny for oblivion. I weep for the departed. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Akron's so fucking busted. Look, it dropped something. A oh. uh, note. Looks like instructions from the butler for the other servants. Uh, seems like the mansion's entire workforce were assigned other tasks before Robin's death. It must have been a big project to require that much manpower. The Charmony Festival, perhaps. But no matter what their main priorities are, there should always be someone left at the mansion, right? So you're saying someone deliberately cleared the place out? Maybe. Yeah, but I don't know why. Hmm. Spring forth the gleam of old blades. Let me just go ahead and just pop these balloons real quick. Uh, oh shit. A trash can enemy. Ah shit. Young members of the family these days don't seem to know a thing about manners. Uh, that trainee server over there, what's the appropriate thing to do when you're giving directions to a guest? Bring the guest to the destination, point in the direction of the destination with my hand, I'll keep my fingers together and point in the right direction with the tip of my palm. Uh, bring them there? That's rude. Uh oh. Dodge! Okay. <laughs> you can't dodge the uh, trash can's attacks. Can I insta kill the trash can? No, she, okay, it doesn't have the symbol above him, so you can't insta kill them. Uh, this. Okay. <laughs> if you click. Uh, okay, if you click the rod option, you don't need to fight them. Oh. Now imagine the VIP of the family raising a toast to everyone, including you. How would you respond? I lowered my glass when they're. When clinking it with theirs, I take it off immediately. <laughs> I'll join the table and start. Okay, <laughs> it's always the least logical answer, so you want to pick against these trash cans. Never mind. Haha, <laughs> better luck next time, idiot. Alright, go back. Okay, uh, let's try this again then. Uh, I'll join the table and start feasting on the necklaces I lower my glass. Yeah, that's right, you need to be humble when dealing with the VIP. I think of a bright future head. If only all other young sisters were as well mattered as you. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, I really didn't want to fight the trash can right now. Although, it would have been interesting. Uh, okay. Let's get on ahead then. 
Actually, can I can I become tiny as Acheron? Just just curious. Oh, I can. Okay, go here anytime I want. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back to Glitchland, where we have man walking into the wall, and then three man walking into a dead body. <laughs> Congratul. Oh my God! This wait. I think there's more bug NPCs here. I think. <laughs> this is my favorite part of the entire like 2.1 stuff. Just all these fuckers just T-posing. Like this guy's like the only one that's like correctly working. And this guy's just yeah, just walking into the wall. Okay, I'll get out of here. We already done this part of Aventurine, so there's no need to be here again. Okay, but uh Let's see who's up ahead. Yeah, I wonder if Sunday's still here with Aventurine. We shall see. Probably not. Yep, no, nobody's here. No one here either. Since no one's around to entertain us, let's make ourselves at home. Stay close to me so that my white can cover you too. That's insane though. That she just has an ability to just cloak herself. In essence. Uh. Wait. I want to look at that. I want to look at the shiny papers on the table. Uh, later on, I guess. Okay, a letter from Robin. Oh, dear brother, how are you doing these days? I intend to visit you at Dewlight Pavilion as soon as possible upon my return. But with the approaching Charmony Festival and your busy schedule, I refrain from troubling you. However, an urgent matter compels me to share something with you immediately. Since my return to Panacani, I've experienced a peculiar change in my voice. At first, I thought it was caused by exhaustion or illness, but after consulting the doctors, they assured me of my perfect health and dismissed my concerns. However, my voice worsened over time and I even experienced periods of complete voice loss. In order to find answers, I conducted many private investigations, using my idle time out of rehearsals, of course. And eventually, I realized the harmony in Pentacony is not pure. A discord lurking within has tainted my voice of harmony, which I believe to be the root cause of my vocal issues. Huh. I mainly realized that such levels of inf interference can only occur if either powerful force a proper external force is pulling the strings, or if a senior member of the family is involved. Unfortunately, further investigation has led me to the latter conclusion. This is an extremely alarming discovery. A traitor has emerged within the family in Panacani. And it is highly likely that this person is one of the four family heads. I trust you implicitly, dear brother, because of our promise. With the Charmony Festival on the horizon, I fear this person intends to impede its progress, or even use the festival to, for some ulterior motive. At any rate, I suggest you monitor the other family heads while also prioritizing your own safety. You're, you are my only true family member I have left. Uh, there's another matter that requires our attention. During my investigation, I learned about the Memory Zone meme death, and my further inquiries lead me to believe that the culprit who directed it to this cause, to cause this series of incidents, is like the aforementioned the aforementioned traitor in the family. I've collected more clues, and I'm prepared to verify my hypothesis. Rest assured, you can just focus on pre the preparations for the Charmity Festival. And once I've thoroughly investigated death, I'll come and meet you immediately. It won't take too long. Given your heavy workload, please take care of yourself. Do not stay in the dreamscape all the time. Spend some time in reality when you're free. I brought some specialties from other galaxies. Giant's Moa Pudding Tarts from Morleans. Wild strawberries from Akona, Akonyako, known for their exceptional size and sweetness, which I'm certain you enjoy, and almond men meringue cream crackles from Medicia. Don't forget to enjoy them. May she pay be with us, dear sister Robin. As soon as I and the rest Damn. of the crew arrived in Penaconi, Mr. Sunday and Robin showed up to greet us. I remember hearing something unusual in her voice and now it seems i was right mm. robin believed it was because the harmony had been tampered with somehow but as far as i know there aren't many entities capable of interfering with the power of paths meaning if there really is a traitor within the family that person must hold a high position or possess unimaginable strength could it be Sunday? That would explain why Mr. Sunday has been having such difficulty in catching the traitor. No, actually, no, that wouldn't make sense. Hmm. 
Hey, what? welcome to the stream, welcome. Yep, just right in the middle of uh, Acheron's POV of the, the 2.1 Trailblaze missions. Dude, this story's getting more and more, like... <laughs> like, yeah, more and more complex as it goes along. I'm kind of enjoying it, but at the same time... Yeah, it's just an, it just it's just insane as of right now. Yeah, let's see if we can learn a bit more about what happened. Uh, Ansarol, a male Halloween. Hmm. Sorry, something fell to the floor. I got to pick it up. Uh, okay. Ansarol, a male Halloweenian, was dragged into the sea by an unknown meme while sunbathing on the beach in the moment of, of Oasis. Subsequent search and rescue operations proved unsuccessful. Note, this was the first case. Uh, can't tell if anything is wrong. Insufficient investigation? Mori, a male from the Sienjo, entered a spheroid in the Golden Hour and mysteriously disappeared while the spirit was bouncing in the air. Uh, later... Examination showed that no sign of forced entry or exit on the spheroid. Note, it seems the culprit can't ignore physical barriers. Conventional investigation methods feasible. Emka, a female human. Okay, so these are all the victims. Emka, uh, a female human, participated in a talent show in the moment of scorched sand, but accidentally fell off the stage before the judges turned around and disappeared in the shadows below. The footage for that episode of the show has been deleted. The culprit is swift and skilled at disguise, cautioning his advice. Weber, a male pepeshi, uh, fell down when entering his office on a payday in Gilded Hour and was killed by an unknown meme that suddenly appeared. The memories of witnesses have been processed. Note, preferring to attack wounded or vulnerable individuals? Uncertain, maybe taking orders from someone else. Shemet, a male pepeshi, was taken away by uh, while flipping over a card at the casino in the moment of stars. The casino staff has dealt with the aftermath of the incident. Flipping a card, interesting. Dekem, a male human, jumped into the ocean of dream bubble in Blue Hour in an attempt to impress his girlfriend, but got entangled by an unknown meme under the sea and drowned. His girlfriend's memories have been processed, but the outcomes are not satisfactory. Further intervention from the motivators may be necessary. Note, most cases are related to the ocean. Could this be a breakthrough? Additional note, scratch that, after checking only two cases were related to the ocean. Kaisia, a male, a female Foxian, was engulfed by an unknown meme while playing dreamy slots in Golden Hour. The incident caused a huge commotion at the spot. The memories of most witnesses have been processed. Could be the sweet dreams true. Does it have to? Does he have to be ability to imitate and learn? Multiple culprits? There's likely a mastermind behind the scenes. Jeez, that's a lot of victims. Jeez, a lot more. Kambega. A male bloodhound was attacked by an unknown meme before his shift changed in the moment of serenity, resulting in his death after a fight. Hmm. Security measures have been enhanced in the prison area. Note, no notable details in this case. Need to ask the bloodhound family to strengthen defenses in the prison and other facilities. Janet, a female human disappeared while visiting the film history gallery at the museum in the moment of soul. She was drawn towards a mysterious sound calling to her and walked into a screen vanishing without a trace. This sign has been corded off. This is the only case where the culprit demonstrated speech ability. Further verification is required to determine if this is a false claim. Jeez, a lot more. Monk, a male intellectual, was attacked while replacing his a newly purchased high-grade vision sensor in the auction at the moment of dusk. Vis vision sensor? Noteworthy. Annette, a female pepeshi, vanished while touching up her makeup in the bathroom before graduation ceremony at Paperfold Academy in the moment of soul. She is caught by a meme into a mirror and disappeared, witnessed by a teacher at the scene. Mirror? Noteworthy. A uh, current hypothesis is related to sight. Chloe, a female intellectual. Jeez, a lot more was attacked by a meme and disappeared while uh, when blew out the candles during her birthday celebration with her friends at the blue hour Aww. all witnesses are currently receiving treatment from the motivators more attacks are occurred in dark or dim environments is sight really a trigger 
Carissa, a female Halloween, was harassed by a fervent fan backstage before her performance in the moment of Scorsan and was subsequently abducted by a meme during her escape. The Bloodhound family has apprehended the fan. Abducted? Keep a lookout for this fervent fan. Okay, we wish the end. Okay, Dorian, a human male, uh, took a nap before the end of his shift in the moment of daybreak without telling his managers and was abducted by an unknown meme hiding under a chair. Emergency intervention was provided and production at the factory was resumed as usual. Taking a nap, plus considering discussing with the Alfalfa family about increased vacation time and additional breaks for workers. Marlowe. A male human disappeared after being involved in a car accident in the golden hour. Witnesses report that the presence of an eerie meme who fled underground at the scene of the incident. Uh, this is a genuine case of death. The meme must be connected to concepts such as death and murder. Hmm. The list comprises over a hundred cases related to the Memory Zone meme death. However, the author of the list seems to struggle with figuring out the pattern. One fucking hundred? Jesus Christ. What the hell? <laughs> Harry Potter reference, by the way? Oh wait, which one is? <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I didn't watch Harry Potter. Or I haven't watched it yet. I only watched like the first two movies. So... Yeah, I, I'm not getting the reference if anybody's... um, Yeah, if anybody cares to let me know. Hmm. The information about Robin, Firefly, and the other victims... I don't see any commonalities among them. Looks like the rumors were right. Death does seem to be targeting random victims. And based on Sunday's notes, he's no stranger to death. Hmm. He's just surprised that it has resurfaced. So this has happened in the past. Like, way, way in the past. Okay. And the last thing we need to read. This light cone is securely guarded. It must hold oh. some important memories. Oh, that is a uh, young Sunday and Robin. Uh, is that the one in the battle pass, actually? Killed in the mirror, just like in the second movie. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, Voldemort and all that. Right. <laughs> According to Robin's interview, despite having performed on so many grand stages, her favorite performance was a uh, a pretend show she put on with her brother when they were just kids. Aww. I wonder how their relationship is now. Growing up brings gains, but also losses. <sighs> yeah, that, uh, that hits hard, not gonna lie. Time is a way of smoothing things out. The beautiful dreams of youth will eventually fade away. Okay, now we can look at the papers on the table itself. Okay, uh, let's start with the smaller one. A letter from Alfalfa. To Sunday, I've been informed about Robin, and I would like to offer or express my deepest condolences. However, I must ex remind you that you now hold the position of not only her elder brother, but also the head of the Oak family. Your every, your every action has implications for all of Panicani. As Pentecost is going through a critical period, it is crucial that you do not allow your hatred to cloud your judgment. Be cautious and do not engage in activities that others can use against you as leverage. I heard that you are planning to, de to dedicate a significant amount of time and resources to find death. Such an action does not serve the best interests of the family as a whole, and I strongly advise you to reconsider it as to avoid potential impeachments from other family in heat from other family heads. What the fuck? Okay. Uh, while you're convinced that death is connected to the Watchmaker, I've met the Watchmaker many times long before the Dream Master adopted you and your sister, and never found any evidence linking him to the Memory Zone meme. Now that you are the head of the Hope family, uh, it is essential that you assess the situation objectively and consider the bigger picture. It is unwise to allocate all of Panacani's resources and manpower for the sake of a personal vendetta, as this is... And this would bring this honor to the Great One. The Charmony Festival is on the horizon, and the Watchmaker's guests are barely holding back their own agendas. Neither you nor I could face the severe consequences if Dominiscus' arrival is delayed. Therefore, I urge you to control your emotions and fulfill your responsibilities as the head of the Oak family, focusing only on the festival and avoiding any interference from the external sources. In addition, we must not neglect the honored guests invited by the Watchmaker, as mishandling this matter could lead to, to diplomatic conflicts 
with other major factions involving us in the disputes that could have been avoided. As your elder, I hope you comprehend the gravity of this situation and handle it appropriately. As for the matter of ramen, there will be time to pursue once the festival has concludes. By then, I will provide you with all the necessary resources and manpower in the name of the Alfalfa family to help you get your revenge. Additionally, I've heard rumors that the Dream Master is not entirely pleased with your recent activities. I advise you conduct yourself with caution. Yours sincerely, Old Oti. Hmm. It seems neither the Dream Master of Penaconi nor this Old Oti is happy with Sunday's recent performance. They don't seem to care much about death. Instead, they're more concerned about the Charmony Festival and the Watchmaker. Maybe the other family heads don't think death is a big deal. Why? <laughs> One thing's for sure. There's a lot of internal conflict within the family, and everybody has their own agenda. Okay, yeah, it's not so much of a family now, is it? Hmm. Oh, it's a gotcha like on that up here in Aventurine's Banner. Okay, right. I remember seeing that somewhere before. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. Okay, and then the last stack of papers here. List of suspects. Esteemed head of the Oak family. Investigation into all suspects involving the death case has been conduct concluded. The findings are summarized below for your review. Respectfully yours, Esme, Esme Drott. Attachment. Ryan, a general staff from the Oak family, short gray hair leading a laid-back lifestyle, often caught slacking off at work. Oh, these are the suspects for the... Yeah, these are suspects for the traitor. Hmm. Percy, a diplomatic clerk from the Oak family, dark curly hair, suffering from severe OCD, <laughs> unable to work until his tie is tied and checked five times. Uh, relatable. Reishi, a diplomatic clerk from the Oak family, long gray hair, a devoted fan of Clocky, exhibits a preference for the clock element in almost all aspects of life. Connor, a professor at Paperfold Academy, short red hair, ruined by soon to be an enigmatic figure due to his unkept appearance. Doriani, professor at the Paperfold Academy, short gray hair, un uh, known among students for bringing cigarettes to classes as tech books. <laughs> Fire that guy. Uh, Pururu, a researcher from the Nightingale family, long blonde hair, known for being obsessed with soda and having the researcher's labs trash can filled with empty drink cans. B Benny! No, Bennett, no! Benny, a dreamscape producer from the Nightingale family, curly brown hair, frail and thin, exhibiting an almost financial affection for dream construction. Maureen, a dream weaver from the Nightingale family, uh, short gray hair, standard st stature for Pepeshi adults, uh, possesses a collector's fetish, uh, particularly fond of mugs and jugs. Sir Whittaker, the head of the Nightingale family, short black hair, dis distinguished by his rare orange pupils. Pat, a renowned actor from the Irish family, short gray hair, features a number of newest classic films and TV shows, known for his distinctive thigh band. Uh, okay. Boric, an actor from the Ice family, short black hair, frequently cast in gangster-themed films, widely acclaimed for his performance in close quarters combat scenes. Natter, a drink swift from the Ice family, short blonde hair, enjoying a good reputation among tourists for his engaging conversations. Carrie, an actress from the Ice family, long pale hair, known for cross-dressing in films and play... to play suit-clad male protagonists, affectionately called by her fans as Grey Beauty. <laughs> Bren... Brendan, a guard from the Bellhound family, short brown hair, awarded for the uh, medallion. Okay, these are all just, yeah, suspects. I don't think I need to read them all. I would like to, but <laughs> this will take too long. There's a total of 52 suspects on the list, followed by Sunday's note. Perhaps there's a common thread among them. I reach a conclusion. Okay. Mr. Sunday has done some serious research on his suspects. This traitor must have been causing trouble for the family for a long time. I would have read it all, but. Yeah, it would have taken way too long. They all seem to be insiders, but I haven't met any of them. Huh? Wait, these characteristics. What is it? No, nothing. Hmm. Maybe I'm just overthinking things. However, if this traitor really exists, could they be responsible for Firefly and Robin's deaths? Hmm, I think I noticed in the suspect list. Like, can I look at it again? I can, <laughs> but thankfully. Yeah, I will skim through this real quick, but I think... Most of them seem to have 
dark hair, dark hair, dark hair, short blonde hair, okay, long gray hair, short dark hair, blonde, blonde, brown, yeah, they, they all seem to have, like, black, brown, or blonde hair, that's about, like, the only coincidence among them. Perhaps that's why Sunday is taking this matter so seriously. That's all for now. Nothing more noteworthy. Before coming here, I had all sorts of scenarios in my head about dealing with the family. I did not expect an empty mansion. Watch out. Someone's approaching. Uh. I don't think trespassing on forbidden areas is the way to be a guest, Mr. Yang. And... Uh-oh. Acheron? The Galaxy Ranger? Uh-oh. Our apologies, Mr. Sunday. Uh, nobody came to greet us, so we entered without permission. I hope you can forgive us. But even if there's no one to greet you, you should wait for the host. Don't you agree? Even without the famous Galaxy Ranger. As far as I know, the crew has officially accepted the family's commission. So coming here will be unnecessary for you. Mm. On the contrary, that's exactly why we're here. To ask you about the case and gather more information. We don't want any loose ends. Hmm. Well, since you've come with goodwill, I have no reason to show you the door. Rest assured, he hasn't figured out that we went through those documents. Yeah, sure, say that out loud. <laughs> Shit, say that out loud, why don't you? In a quiet room where it's not gonna echo at all. <laughs> cool. While the truth remains a mystery, I'm getting close to it. I assure you that the traitor will soon pay the price. Let's hope justice will prevail soon. I... I have a question for you, if you don't mind. How did the family come to the conclusion that the murderer was within the family? With all due respect, it's in the IPC's interest to wreak havoc before the Charmony Festival, and the family has every reason to suspect the IPC's involvement. Well, other family heads share the same suspicions as you, but in my opinion, the true murderer would never have drawn as much attention as that ambassador did. Hmm. Not to mention, I personally shackled him a while ago. Yep. However, I'll give you a suggestion regarding your suspicions, Mr. Yang. You should be more cautious of Aventurine. While the wicked can't break through high walls, they can plunge their evil dagger into the heart of the righteous. He's a businessman, not some philanthropist. But right now, he's out there handing out his wealth on the streets. Oh. And he went to the Clock Studios theme park all by himself. Oh. Who knows what kind of scheme he's cooking up. That's where we are, right? The march and the gang? Uh-oh. <laughs> While the family is dedicated to keeping our guests safe, it might be wise for you to stay alert. You never know what unexpected troubles could arise. I don't like that. Sunday, what did you do? Uh, back to speaking of veterine. According to a Pierpoint hotline tip, there was a major breakthrough in the shocking Edgehazio Aventurine case. Uh, the suspect has been arrested. Hazio Aventurine case. This fraud case has been linked to many departments within the Interastral Peace Corporation and the Intelligentsia Guild, causing a large drain in manpower and resources resulting in the IPC taking a massive loss. The case's main suspect originates from Sigonia 4 uh -oh. and is one of the survivors of the second Katika Avgin extinction event who does not carry an interstellar refugee travel permit. Oh, this in our flashback? As per Strategic Investment Department head Diamond Sentiments, the IPC has appropriately relocated the suspect in the spirit of the Charter, and will continue to conduct further investigations as to the motive of the suspect. Who? What the? Who the fuck are you? Wait. Diamond? Is that your name? Who is this gorgeous? Well... Okay, maybe not so gorgeous because the veterine's still chained up, but holy mama. What pretty eyes. Jade. Tell me, do they shine in the dark? Holy shit, she looks gorgeous. She's part of the IPC, huh? Just like Topaz is. Damn. Holy. She looks like Lisa, but 
If she actually <laughs> was, if she wasn't lazy. <laughs> well, if they did, I'd sell them in a heartbeat. Yes. <laughs> you don't know how many people long for your eyes to be closed forever. As a servant, you should not resist your master. Yet, oh. you went and killed that man anyway. Oh, good. <laughs> yes, fuck that guy. Possibly one of the ten stone hearts? Possibly. No lawyer has the audacity to defend you. Perhaps you ought to represent yourself. Not difficult, but definitely pointless. You're pretty confident on your eloquence. Did you also think that when you lied to the Intelligentsia Guild? Ask and you shall receive. You wanted the perfect construction material. All I did was offer a possibility. It was just a small wager. If your luck holds out, the IPC will dig something up from the golden sands of Ejihazo. Ooh. Maybe even the Sand King's remains. I'll admit that. What I'm more curious about, though, is why such a grand scheme failed to benefit anyone in the end, including the perpetrator himself. Oh, madam, I already have what I want. To be brought before you for the next high stakes gamble. <laughs> He's just like me for real. <laughs> then let's talk about the second gamble. Tell me, what are you prepared to wager this time? My life. <laughs> I bet you won't send me to the gallows. <laughs> what do you want then? I want your Lenore to meet with me. I have something to say. And then what? I want cash. <laughs> I want money. <laughs> it can't be that simple, can it? It is that simple. 30 tonbas. The remainder of my market value. 30 tonbas. No more, no less. Yeah, she's going to be playable at some point, right? Ooh, I, I better stop saving on my jades. <laughs> With this money, I'll climb to even greater heights than you. Grasp even more riches than you. <laughs> I wager you won't give me this chance. Which is why you should call him here. Interesting. A pity Diamond won't see you. Okay, yeah, Diamond's no a different person. To see him. From here on out, I am Diamond's representative. And I will decide on his behalf. You're wrong. 30 Tonbas. I'll give you that. And much more than that. Wealth. Status. Power. The IPC will give you whatever you want. Even what you don't want. Kakavasha. <laughs> A good name. But unfortunately destined to be buried in the dirt. <laughs> You, though, you deserve to live, to create even more wealth. For a go, pick the clothes you like. I did mean to skip the last part, sorry. Identity. And then, <laughs> use them well, child. Really now, this is how we join the IPC. May your plans never suffer failure. Oh, <laughs> okay, so. What is Jacob be playable? <laughs> I may have to break my FTP status for her. <laughs> Life is like a long term investment. Those who choose correctly, do the correct things, reach the correct outcomes, and show the world their value. People can't always make the right choices in their lives. But luck has always been on my side. I've never lost. Is it because Gyathra blesses me? Mm. Well, if that's the case, she must also be looking upon me right now. My success is inevitable. But... What then? <laughs> Even if I overcome this difficult trial... What would come next? <laughs> what awaits me after this glorious gamble? An even more glorious one? Will I return triumphant with unending riches after countless successes, or... 
will I encounter failure, never to return? I'm pretty sure you already have some ideas. Eh? Uh. Lowly gambler. Oh, Sunday? <laughs> Ah, shit. Snap back to reality. What? What? what the fuck? Wait, huh? Is Wait, that's him? <laughs> uh, the hell? Am I dreaming? Or have I gone completely insane? Perhaps both. What the f who the fuck who's blue aventurine here? I've forgotten me already. When you were strapped to that electric chair by a mannequin warlords, who was it that gave you the idea? Fine. I may be crazy, but I'm not stupid. Get out of my head, newborn of the harmony. Newborn of the Harmony. <laughs> the Harmony? Oh, don't play the fool. It's not the first time we've met. No <laughs> need to be so polite. Yeah, he's a shadow. I am the shadow, the true self. <laughs> I'm you. And perhaps oh my god. Yourself, then you. I'm you and oh, you're me. Exactly. You want. You're dying. And you still want to drag a bunch of unfortunate fools with you through death's door. That's why you're here, isn't it? <laughs> a grand unveiling. You really think you can pull it off? Why not? Was he just, what, did, did he just give up and is just ready to kill everybody? Well, you may have fooled everyone, but you can't fool yourself. I can show you. Before you're entirely gone. I'll be with you for the last stretch of your road. Let's have a heart to heart while we walk. What the f <laughs> What exactly are you? Why am I talking to myself? <laughs> Most people in this world spend their entire lives just to reach one outcome. And I am that outcome. Kakavasha, I am your First, I'm hearing things, mm. and now I'm seeing them. <laughs> Great. Am I going to be elevated into the Harmony's Emanator next? <laughs> Somehow I doubt that. Why are there no guests here? What's that Featherhead doing? Oh, what the? <laughs> Did we do something to scare them everybody off? Uh, oh, what the fuck? Y you guys see that? Head, the T, the... Kachu Center uh, Sage of the Perk. <laughs> yeah. Just a Papeshi? No. A child. <gasps> Wait a minute. Is that. Is that little baby Aventurine? Hang on, let me burst all these uh, balloons here. I thought miners weren't allowed in Golden Hour. Hey, kid. You okay? Are you lost? What's wrong, mister? Aw. You don't look well. It is him. <laughs> Your... Eyes. Impossible. Who are you? They're pretty, aren't they? She said they're a gift from Mama Funga. Aww. Colorful eyes are said to bring good luck. Uh, mister, you have pretty eyes too. Beautiful. Are... Are you alone? Where are your parents? They're in that amusement park. Papa and Mama went oh. in first. I'm just about to go look for them. What was that noise in the background? I have to go. Goodbye, mister. Hope you have a good time too. Those eyes. Uh, holy! And Mama Funga. No, no, it. It can't. Holy shit, that's. <laughs> there aren't any Avgens left. 
So okay, sorry. Like, massive revelation and all, but holy fuck, that kid went fucking sprinting. <laughs> holy shit. Hang on. Come back here, kid. There should be no more Afghans anymore, right? Mama, Mama, uh, wait for me. Kid, wait up. You're only on Panacone, am I right? <sighs> what are you still doing here? Well, you've known all along. The family truly showed leniency to everyone who came seeking help. Why would there be a need for such high walls and deep moats? However, people don't see it like that. Especially since the flavor of the drink syrup is so alluring. You will receive no charity on Panacone. And relying on your own strength alone to topple high walls? Mm. Not, not a likely fate. Which is why, once you step into the hotel, you remove your high hat and beg everyone you come across for help. Like a hyena scavenging for scraps in the desert. <laughs> because you know that opportunities are fleeting. Oh, when you put it like that, even Ratio's a teeny peacock analogy sounds pleasant. <laughs> well, you know how rare it is for me to give you the straight dope. So listen while you can. The straight dope? It's good timing that you mentioned the doctor. I'm especially fond of what you and he have in common. The conspiracies... Calculations. Especially the part about the finale, a magnificent act of betrayal. <laughs> oh, when everyone thinks this way, who would even suspect that it was another trap you've meticulously devised? <laughs> Go on. Tell me I'm right. You know who you really are, Mr. Cavalier Gambler. Uptight, overcautious, massive. Inferiority complex. You want so much, you're still so afraid of losing. Hmm. They only see your big bets, your bravado, the full house, the straight blush. They don't know the other hand is below the table, clutching your chips for dear life. That's a heck of an act. No wonder the tavern sent you an invite. You're a natural kid. You don't stop at fooling the audience. You fool yourself, too. Well, the best way to prevent others from seeing your true colors is first being able to fool yourself. Huh. <laughs> of course. I know you all too well. But it's strange. Why did you decline that invitation? Well, what? The chance to embrace elation was that not what you most wanted. But Wait a minute. You had the chance of brace. He could have been a mass fool, but he turned it down. Huh? Maybe that's why Sparkles piss at him. For the preservation, <laughs> I doubt it. Do you even have anything in common with the preservation? Oh, I thought you knew. Didn't you say you had me pegged? War done. Either stop talking or disappear from my sight. Uh, right. <laughs> You're on a timer, Venturine. Well, it's not going to be me, anyway. You sure? The gate is locked, okay. Well, real nigh win attitude right there. Um, can I open this? Nope, I can only peer behind the curtain. Yep. Come back here. Oh, more words and shit. Oh, there goes the kid. The shouts and the cries. Yep. Hey, come back here. Uh, what's here? Oh, where to play? Or something. Hide and seek. What sweet childhood memories. When Mama said goodbye that day, how many catechins were like jackals hot on your heels? I know you won't forget that sound anytime soon. Mm. Those shrill cackles. You had to hide right under the nose of those savages. You and Big Sis playing dead, drifting in all that bloody water. Jeez. Completely ruined that shirt. <laughs> Shame. 
Wasn't that the last one Dad left behind? <laughs> it wasn't ruined. I've always kept it. Oh, come on. It's a rag. It's not like you can ever wear it. <laughs> now you don't have to hide. You probably won't even deign to get your pretty outfit wet in the rain. And your social capital has changed after all. I've never changed. On the contrary, now you're the one who does the hunting. The last round of hide and seek, and you get to be in. You should enjoy it. Do I, do I have to find the kid? That child. Hmm. Could he be in here? Win the hide and seek game and find the Afghan boy. Nah, I'm gonna go ahead and just get some money. Better for me that way. <laughs> and also a reminder, Aventurine is slowly dying at this moment. And here he is chasing a kid through Panicani. Okay, where are you, boy? Uh. Oh, what's this? this? Oh, this... What's the Topaz stone doing here? Topaz. What is this doing here? <sighs> what does your cornerstone wrench out of your heart, son? <sighs> I was merely curious why it was here. Maybe that winged guy put it here. To taunt you. Hmm. Just to make you realize that your painstakingly arranged magic show is nothing but a death rattle. The cornerstone's hue is the same as the radiance of Clipon's body. <laughs> I've got to give it to you. I've heard a lot of baloney, but that lie deserves a prize for sheer nerve. If he were just a little bit smarter, the jig would have been up right there. Uh. This is just bait. Of course. That's why Ratio's betrayal was one of the keys to your plan. Oh. What? <laughs> Wait, so... Huh? So Ratio was also on Venturine's side. Oh, oh, my brain cannot handle all those fucking twists. Or maybe he wasn't acting at all. All the better for him. Sunday didn't become head of the Oak family by acting sloppy. He's obsessed with control. You have to give him enough detail to satisfy his meticulous nature, but not so much that he gets suspicious. Which is why you had Ratio seek him out and leave the plan on purpose. What? <laughs> to prevent the other party from suspecting anything. The intel you gave to Ratio was all true. He spoke the same to Sunday. Finally, Sunday took the bait, found the other cornerstone, and before you know it, everyone's distracted enough for you to steal the third stone. Oh. Right from under them. What? <laughs> How? What? How smart is this man? <laughs> Why don't you stop rummaging through my mind? Your mind. In our mind. <laughs> You're me. And I'm you. We're the same. The best way to prevent others from seeing your true colors is to first be able to fool yourself. What are these? Yeah, what are the stones doing here? <laughs> Yeah, I, I keep thinking of Aventurine's on the downside here, and then it always, the f the next fucking moment, it's just like, yep, I, I planned this all along. It's just, it's just every fucking step of the way. Tell me, what's his name? <laughs> Why are you even asking me? Uh, must I do all the work? Aventurine is the stone of luck and trickery. That's what she said when you received the stone, wasn't it? This type of stone isn't rare, but its hue is very similar to a certain gem. In fact, it's often used as a substitute. And that more precious gem is... Jade. Oh. Even Sunday can't tell the difference. Well, it looks like Jade can be substituted for... Oh, shit. <laughs> Sauce for the goo. Three elites, three cornerstones who 
for a measly panic Ellie. Offered their everything. Oh. You're even more united than the family. <laughs> well, the family is in a disarray right now, so <laughs> I don't think they're united at all. As I've said before, three chips are sufficient. All or nothing. So, okay, so the adventure in Jade is somewhere else, <laughs> and these are just Topaz and Jade. But will it be the former or the latter? <laughs> we'll find out soon enough. Because I was wondering, yeah, why did adventure just use the stone to like use like its power to something? That's why. Suddenly, you don't know where it is? I just want to hear you say it. After all, it really does resemble its owner. Uh? As you wish, then. They never went in. Oh, shit. Oh, those sounds... They're right where they belong. Okay, they do look similar. Holy shit. <laughs> Piled up with these cheap baubles. You smashed the Aventurine Stone before you left? Wait, what? Oh, just look oh, he destroyed it. So it wouldn't be found. <laughs> How many more fucking big brain steps do you have for me? I take it back. This thing is far more precious than your life. You're absolutely clear about the consequences of doing this. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Diamond has always been all about results. As long as I can create value far beyond the cost, the ends justify the means. You are killing me right now with these fucking the plots, Mr. Venturi, and jeez. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Even smashed to smithereens, the preservation's cornerstone can still be used. Its effect may be greatly diminished, but it's enough for me. Now I'm really curious. Why does every step you take involve reckless risks and the choices you prepare for yourself always come with a strong impulse for self-destruction? If you truly believe that the greater the risk, the greater the rewards? Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't have guessed you'd be so... He is a fucking gambler after all. <laughs> there is so much you don't see. Which is also why you'll never see how I'll win it all. That is... We'll just have to wait and see then. Also, yeah, what happened to finding the boy? Is gone. Another illusion of the harmony. Huh. Oh. You know, yeah, yeah, I'm not in the mood to fight. I'm just gonna annihilate these guys. Oh wait, there's a kid. Uh, hey, young Afghan. Hello. We meet again, Mr. Pretty Eyes. Yes. We meet again. Did you find your mother and father? Of course! Big Sis is there too. The four of us were just playing hide and seek. I'm so happy. On our way here, Papa even brought me to see a flim. A flim? <laughs> <laughs> I think you mean film. Yeah. Yes, that's it. Putting many drawings together and turning them into a moving wall painting. They put me, Papa, Mama, and Big Sis together. Turning us into one big family. You should give it a try too, mister. You look sad. The amusement park will cheer you up. Hmm. <laughs> sure. Holy shit, look, you can zoom in once again. Oh! Play the role of... Oh, I actually get to direct a movie? <laughs> Hamster Ball Night, Fast and Fury Nuts. <laughs> okay, uh... Oh! Oh, a whole last minigame here. What? Uh... Click the flip button to dodge the obstacles and opponents. If you dodge right before you're about to crash to a roadblock, you trigger a turbo blash, turbo turbo dash, and experience a short period of invulnerability. Uh. Oh. Okay. Get a boost there. <laughs> yeah. What is this? <laughs> well, it's making me happier to say at least. Now. Oh wait, yeah, I meant to crash into them. Come here, come here, bastard. Now, now. Okay, okay, okay. Dodge. Come here. D 
Die! Yippee! <laughs> Safety car! Damn, 3,000 score. Hey, not bad, actually. Hey, that was fun. Where'd you go? Get? God damn it. Boring. These kids don't have manners, I swear to God. More and more mysteries just keep piling up, don't they? Not you again. Why aren't you talking? You've piqued my interest. I'll admit that there are still aspects of you that I don't completely understand. <laughs> so you so you're not me. You're just impersonating me, asshole. Well, you sound sincere this time at least. Well, sincerity is one of my traits that everybody likes. And I have precious few of those. Moving on. See that maze over there? <laughs> I'll know everything about you before you reach the exit. <laughs> Bet on it. Our quaint journey through this amusement park still isn't over. And I wouldn't mind stretching this out at all. So who is this adventuring fucking clone? Is this a harmony trying to get in my head? Whoa, it? This place. It's so tall. Even taller than the tallest rocks in the desert. Jeez, this is a serious safety hazard. Someone should install railings ar around here. Like, someone could seriously fucking fall to their death. Also, hey, door. Give me that. Catch up with the young Afghan baby again. <laughs> Got it. Oh, well, no, I think it says boy, not baby. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Same thing. Oh. There are so many oh, this maze. Okay. Fix this. This one's for you. Hmm. I think the balloons are like pointing me in the right direction. <laughs> oh well, this, this ain't much of a maze. <laughs> <laughs> just one look back, just case. Up. Oh. A dead end. Oh, is this the wrong way? So that this way is probably the right way, but it's blocked for some reason. Hmm. Uh, investigate. Is this? Oh, shackles? <laughs> Wait, what? Why just three of them? Oh, that's probably for the head and these were for the hands or something, right? Oh, what's on your mind? It's got nothing to do with you. Yeah. You Get out of my head. These are manacles on you. That man gave you your first job. And you made your first pot of gold. <laughs> I remember it all too well. You wrapped that iron chain around your fist. For that is the only tool you could find. Then, in that maze, you... Wrangle him with the fucking... <laughs> the fucking, uh... Uh, um, uh, handcuffs? Shut up. Oh, you don't wish to face your past. <laughs> Unwilling to admit that your life is worth only 60 tonnes. Well, from what I see, you refuse to confront it. Because it only proves your weakness. How could a weak person take such daring risks? Oh, that's right. You love the thrill of danger. But you refuse to let go of meaningless sentiments. Even in this beautiful dream, the only thing you dare allow yourself is death. In your hands, those who follow you could have become Joker cards. <laughs> They're far more useful that way. It's not like this is the only place the family ever cut corners. You could have had tons of action if you weren't so all or nothing. Uh. All it takes is a meager sacrifice. I bet Opal would have resolved this without a fuss. Opal? Okay, that's another one of the chin cornerstones. Hey, you're not him. Well, you wouldn't be in this state if you could just get with the program. And why couldn't you? Out of professional integrity. Those techniques you mentioned are highly efficient, but it's not that I don't know about them. Hmm. It's more like I couldn't care less. Get it? What fun is it if the fight isn't fair? Fair? <laughs> you assume your opponents would fight fair in the first place. The odds are obviously not in your favor, so how are you just breezing by? But did that masked fool's words awaken something in you? Well, she gave me an answer that could turn everything upside down. <laughs> everything? You mean, it could make all the cards on the table just disappear? 
Ooh. Up, oh, <laughs> and he's gone again. That's cheating. If these leaves could be brought back, uh. would they bloom into new flowers? Oh, now we can go this way. Hmm. Up. Oh, wait. What that say? Hang on. I want. I want to see that again. I want to read these. Hang on. Come back. Or oh, nope. They're probably gone for good. Whoa. What the fuck? There's searchlights every. Okay. Yeah, those sound like police alarms. What the fuck is going on over there? Back to the middle again. Oh, another thing to investigate. Uh, what the heck is that? It looks like a food. <laughs> oh. The lucky charm Mama left you is made from gold. Why did you never consider selling it? You obviously could have lived a normal life like Big Sis that way. Looking back, that was the better choice. Mama only left us with two pieces of jewelry. A necklace and a lucky charm. There won't ever be a third piece. Oh, that's what you always say, but you actually regret it, don't you? That you didn't, Selma. You can zip it if there's nothing to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You must remember what Big Sis told you. You're a child blessed by Gyathra Triclops, and can lead the clan to happiness. So always remember to protect yourself and never resent the pain and poverty you're going through. The words still ring in your ears, don't they? You're a good kid, so you definitely won't have forgotten. So you surely won't forget how tragic her last moments of life were. How the piercing laughter behind you felt like it was drilling into your heart. You ran away without looking back. Just as she told you to. Tisk, tisk. <laughs> A lifelong regret. Don't give me that tisk, tisk shit. <laughs> Enough. Do you not have anything better to talk about? <laughs> can, can you stop rambling about, about my past that I already know about? Oh, shut me down like a champ. Well, I guess when it comes to mind games, this isn't exactly your first rodeo. I think I finally get you. <laughs> Woo! You are nuts! You are now just figuring that out? <laughs> In the end, I'll ruin this beautiful dream and uh. save the grandest death. <laughs> well, you stuck to that start to finish. Now think about it. There's a Stellaron in play. Uh oh. Robin <laughs> oh, he knows. Two unsolved murders, cryptic messages from a masked fool, and a chance to go head to head with Sunday himself. To pique your interest is one word. The last word. A word that's right there at your fingertips. Death. Uh. But whose exactly? <sighs> we'll know when the dice falls. Shit. That gives. Oh uh, no. <sighs> I don't like that. That means somebody's gonna die in this story quest, and I don't like the feeling of that. <laughs> my question if you could start over would you still want to be the child who received Gaiana's blessing <sighs> hmm escape of so quiet this Jeez. time is he finally gone or am I the one about to disappear escape escape get the maze I can't make out what that says <laughs> Hmm. Feet deep in the sand. Uh, dead mountain mouth of carious teeth. Finally, uh, made it out of this. We're going home. Uh, but I don't want to go back yet. Oh, hey, a puzzle, and the kid's there again. Oh, the kid ran ahead. Okay. So fun here. I want to stay here forever. Um. But red, sullen faces sneer and snarl. I... the other message is gone. If I were there and no rock... If there were rock... okay. But no water. Okay, uh, where are you, kid? How far are you running off to? Is that you? I hear the sound of 
sound of leather shoes. How do you know what leather shoes sound like? <laughs> oh, hey. Uh, <laughs> do you want me to pose in that, kitty? I don't know why, mister. But you always give me a special feeling. Yep. It makes me more curious about you. The music changes somewhere around. It's sad that I can't get to know you more. We have to say goodbye. Did you have fun? Hmm. You're... going back? Yes. I should go home. The day's getting dark. And it's going to rain. I don't want to worry the others. Oh, that's why there's a shit ton of thunder. You're home. Where is it? What a strange question. It's where Papa, Mama, and Big Sis are. In this dream. Oh. Ew. This amusement park. This beautiful dream. They really are peaceful. But, mister, why don't you like it? <laughs> because they're not here. No. Where are they then? I don't know. You do know. But there's no point pressing the issue. <laughs> oh. This is like the first time we've ever seen adventure and like being vulnerable. Feeling you two are associated. In future. Oh. How long will you stay? Forever. We'll be with you forever in this dream. This is the greatest honor that we can offer to those who hurtle towards death. Aw. The road less traveled is less traveled for a reason. But you've never gone in any other direction. Your own life is the chip you're most eager to lay down. Always has been. You don't care who the real murderer is. And the watchmaker's so-called legacy is <laughs> more boring. What you want, what you need, is to be the smooth operator, the solid gold deal maker who doesn't waste a drop of sweat, even when he's up to his neck in danger. Deep inside family territory. You want to be polished up, cuffed with red hot chains, and spotlit center stage. <laughs> You'll be the closing act. Oh no. Sacrifice. I can do it. And it will be flawless. Ah, oh, shit. Are we gonna kill Aventurine here? Or is he... Uh... uh... Of course you can. Your luck will help you at the right time. Stellaron and an emanator. Yep. It's that simple, though. That way, the IPC will earn a place at the table. And as for you... You'll just happen to slip the leash, sweep the rat race, extract yourself from this endless debacle. You'll have the freedom you've always dreamed of. <laughs> this isn't the first time. You've been an escape artist from day one. This fiasco started with a death and its curtains will fall on another death. Oh. So that's why Diamond chose you. He's just after Panacone. No matter the means, no matter the price. It's not personal. It's hard, isn't it? Well, don't get soft on me now. <laughs> what, did you suddenly grow a conscience? Why, I was born from yourself. <laughs> I'm well aware that climbing out of the hole you've dug is basically impossible. I can't stop you from doing what you want. Can't change where you want to go. Well, what's done can't be undone. 
All we can do is play the cards we're dealt and rake in as much time as possible. Yes. Alas, people won't make all the right choices in their lifetime. Though luck always seems like it's on your side. You will keep winning, having never lost before. But why you? Why? Must it be you? Mm. If all your luck is built on the pain of someone you love, on the loss of dozens more. If these windfalls, these jackpots, aren't a gift from Gyanthra, if all they are is a long string of meaningless deaths, then what did we do to deserve living in a world like that? <sighs> Maybe... Maybe when I get to where I'm going and look back, I'll know what the trip was all about. Fine. Time to make a move, my friend. I'll be waiting up ahead. Say goodbye to the kid before you shuffle off. Yep. It's best to die without regrets. Ah. Uh. Shed. I, I don't want to admit it, but I guess I'll trade this mission just made me grown to like adventuring and all the more. <laughs> it's funny how like most of us started out like, man, fuck this guy. He, he's just trying to take advantage of us. Just and now it's just like, no. I want you to die. Sure thing, kiddo. Oh, yep, we are gonna pose in the thing. Oh, that seems like progress. Another one that is always beside you. But who is that on the other side of you? All right, let's pose by the uh, funny clocky statue. Oh, <laughs> he, he needs a stool to stand there. All right. <laughs> Can you take a photo for me? I want a memento. Sure thing, kid. Uh... All right. <laughs> there we go. That's perfect. Eh, uh, big me and little me. Can I zoom even further? Yes, I can. All right. I'm saving that actually. That good for you? Oh, oh, wait. This way, <laughs> man. Not with me in it. Come on, man. Oh well. I can see what I look like, too. Look at the lens when you're taking a photo the next time. Your expression will look more natural. Sure, I will. Then, mister, are you going back, too? I can't leave yet. I still have a show to do. Oh, you're about to go on stage, aren't you? Let's go, then. I'll take you to the stage. <laughs> sure. Man, this. Hmm. No wonder your clothes are so stylish. <laughs> nah, commemorative photo. I'm actually a merchant, <laughs> but I do have a show to do. Are you the same as those men in black in the sky? But you're not wearing black. Only ordinary employees have to wear that. My position is much higher than <laughs> I'm a I'm a cut above them. Awesome. Hmm. I hope I can become as good looking as you when I grow up. Yeah, uh, trust me you don't. <laughs> of course you can. No. You'll be better and stronger than me. No. Uh, yeah, this quest makes makes me really think that yeah, act, um, adventure is like the unsung hero of this quest. Yeah, I always felt like he was a very interesting guy, despite like acting super super douchey. Okay, well, time to take the final stage. Get on stage, fear not, never look back. Over plains endless, into <laughs> cracked earth stumbling. Oh hey, we're back where it all began. Up oh, now, it's time for me to take the stage. Okay, well. Behind this curtain is the grand.
grand stage. It's almost time to go on stage. Are you ready? Good luck with your show. Thank you. <laughs> you still seem pretty nervous. Let's put our palms together. If you receive Gaiathra's blessing, you'll feel more relaxed. Putting our palms together is a simple ritual. Mm -hmm. By putting our palms together and reciting the prayer to Mama Funga, she will bless us. If you're not familiar, I can guide you. It's all right. I know how to do it. <laughs> of course I know. Oh, that died. This is uh. where we go our own way, Kakashi. Oh. The catechins are coming. Why? The catechins have already taken all our money, food, and they killed our parents. Oh. What more do they want? Catechins are bloodthirsty, cruel, and insatiably greedy. They want everything only to end up with nothing. This is a trick, an act of revenge. Remember? Today is the day of the Kakava, and also your birthday. They know the Afjin will surely hold a festival today. With the aid of this rain, they will come to destroy our wagons and take everything they want. Little do the Katakins know, this time we will fight back. The men in black that descend from the skies are on our side. The Katakins stand no chance against them and will surely pay for their arrogance. Without this rain, the Catechins would never take action, mm. and we would not have the chance to turn the tide. This is a gift from Gayathra, and you are Kakavasha, whose good fortune will bless your sister with success. But... but people will die, and you will be in danger. How is that good fortune? Why are you all doing this? The Avjin always return their blood debts. Gayathra calls for me, while Papa and Mama are waiting for me. I must answer the call. She will bless you with good fortune and help you survive. As long as you are alive, the blood of the Avjin will never run dry. So run, Kakavasha. Do not be afraid, and do not look back. Go to the other side of the mountain. The rain will accompany you. And the rain will bless you. As for us, we will reunite in Kakava's next aurora. Shit, man. May the goddess Gayathra close her eyes three times. Hmm. Keep your blood eternally pulsing. Let your journey be forever peaceful. And your schemes forever concealed. Farewell, Kakavasha. God, I feel so bad for venturing now. <laughs> News flash from the Inter Astral Peace broadcast. The IPC Marketing Development Department spokesperson confirms that a small scale rebellion has broken out in the unclaimed region of Sigonia. The situation is now under control. The insurgents are from a local clan known as Kataka, which has a long history of disdain towards the IPC. Mm. This has caused a serious negative impact to the work of the IPC's marketing development department. The clan launched a massive attack on the Avgen, who were under the protection of the IPC, resulting in 6,728 deaths Jeez. and 3,452 missing. The casualties are currently under the care of the frontline trauma team. The spokesperson expresses his deepest condolences for this devastating humanitarian disaster. At the same time, delivering an important message on this matter to all interplanetary citizens. Finally, he proclaims, the hammer of preservation will fall on all beings, regardless of life or death, regardless of race, regardless of ideology, to uphold the basic rights we inherently possess. Hmm. Kakavasha? Oh, he's gone now. <laughs> Bye. Go 
on stage. Shit. Okay. All the actors are in place. It's time for the show to begin. I really like that we got to see a Ventress perspective. Could you imagine this whole story? If they didn't do the whole POV thing, and we just only saw it from the Trailblazer side? Yeah, how we would feel about Venturing would be completely different. This act is dedicated to you. I hope it'll be an unforgettable memory for you. Uh? Kakavisha. Ah. Uh. By the way, before you go, I have a personal question. Yep. You... Do you truly want to destroy the world with your own hands? <sighs> Let's assume... Just assuming now... That every time I roll the dice, there's a possibility of achieving this particular outcome. Then I would be quite happy to make that wager. And back to Trailblazer. Is this Miss Acheron? Hello, I'm Imigo, the Astral Express's navigator. Hello, I'm March 7th. I'm sure she needs no introduction, as you definitely know her. Hmm. Hey, I just- <laughs> I still deserve a proper intro. Nice to meet you, Miss Acheron. You can call me Clocky. Uh... <laughs> Uh, and now, now that we're done with all the seriousness with a Venturine story, now it's time to get back to the goofiness that is the Trailblazer. <laughs> Hello? None of you seem surprised by my arrival. Since Weld has decided to travel with you, it means that he trusts you. And we trust his judgment. <laughs> I envy your close friendships. Miss Acheron here doesn't present a danger, and she's of no threat to the Astral Express. Aventurine's prior accusation was based on nothing more than his own subjectivity. Which is why, before we continue working together, he has a duty to explain himself. You want to... create a situation where all three parties are present? Mm -hmm. There must be some deeper meaning behind Aventurine's actions. I suspect he's been aware of Penacone's secret from the beginning, and has been continuously strategizing to unveil it. In that sense, the Astral Express's role in his plans would be imperative. In the worst case scenario, he may use us to do something unexpected. Hmm. Wonder what, though? He's the main character now. It's time for the swan song. Uh, if they, if they like, play like a sad ass song during his, during his uh, fucking, like fights, then no, uh, it's gonna destroy me. I'm a fucking sucker for like sad boss themes. Assuming things do escalate to that stage, having an extra ally is a good insurance policy. Penacone has numerous factions, and the state of affairs is significantly more intricate than that of Bellabog and the Xianzhou. Well, we must meet our justice with a deed. Maybe we can... Maybe we should now get out of here where we still can. I am the bone of my back! <laughs> Stellarod is my body, and Shreobliss is my blood. You're talking <laughs> weird again. It's a reference. Uh, it's a good vibe. No matter what, we can't ignore the safety of Penacone. I love fate. <laughs> to solve the mystery of the Watchmaker, it is crucial to get the IPC's intel. The path ahead is fraught with danger. But what's trailblazing without a little danger? Sounds like we've reached a consensus. Now, Miss Acheron? I will accompany you, of course. Let's move out then! But... Where do we start looking for him? No need to rush. If he truly has laid a trap, he will definitely use every means to lure us in. Hmm. Ladies and gentlemen. Speaking of him, uh, his performance. The most wondrous, most magnificent show in Penacone's history is about to begin. The IPC cordially invites everyone to Clock Studios Theme Park. 
Well, that's where we gotta go. <laughs> Look, should both the performers and spectators fail to arrive, won't all of Aventurine's plans be for nothing? Let's get going, everyone. The hour of trailblazing is upon us. The hour of trailblazing. <laughs> Sibley, what do you want? Oh yeah, I got an achievement for Acheron stuff, and also, what's this? Witness the life of Kava Kakavasha. And also, <laughs> yeah, gets a special mix from Gallagher. Oh, she replied, I want to die. <laughs> Sit in the best seat and watch the grand finale. Oh, this is probably this uh, last part here. Okay, well, um, let's talk to everyone first before we get it. move on. <laughs> I envy your close friendships. Hmm. Let's get going, everyone. Okay, you guys are just saying the same things, aren't you? To solve the mystery of the Watchmaker, it is crucial to get the IPC's intel. Right, right, right. Okay, well, I'm guessing this is going to be like the finale of uh, 2.1. All right, nothing to it but to do this, then. Let's go. Uh, I have a bad feeling that something big's going to go down. Uh, are you ready? Nah, let's end the stream right here and leave the cliffhanger hanging. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I'm not like those. <laughs> I'm not, yeah, I'm not like that. We're ready now and ready to go face Venturine probably and fight him and whatnot. Let's do this. Let's waste no time and head to the theme park then. Uh. Mr. Yang. Why did you not tell your companions about my true identity? It's just like you said, uh, an inability rather than an unwillingness. Plus, it's a long story, not something that can be summed up in a few words. <laughs> Probably gonna be reviewed after this whole stuff is over. But I chose to believe you, and my trust in you stems more from my own personal judgment. I also believe that if it were their choice to make, they would make the same one. Hey, what are you doing back there? Thank you. I'm grateful. To reciprocate. In the upcoming confrontation, if the odds aren't in the Astral Express's favor, I will stand with you, if my meager strength is required. Meager. Yeah, sure, meager. Yep. Hey, I wonder who this is. Adventure seems to have waited for some quite some time on the stage in the center of Clocks Studios theme park. Join this crazy gambler for a perfect collaborative performance that'll blow everyone in Panaconia away. Let's steal this. Uh do I want to bring in a sustainer, like a healer, maybe? Nah, this team can work. Yeah, I'll stick with our team here. Let's go! We're back here again. Aventurine actually chose a really conspicuous location. Oh boy, <laughs> I see a lot of you guys saying you failed against this fight, hoping I uh, don't suffer the same fate. Uh, that guy's really taking it to a whole new level. Does he really think he's a superstar or something? Not a soul in sight. The hounds drove out the visitors, and now their whereabouts are unknown too. Everyone, pay attention. The other party has obviously come prepared. Oh boy. Let me just drink some water here before this one. This is gonna be a good one. Alright. Nothing to it but to go. They mean the music's getting on intense and shit. Oh! Whoa! I gotta, gotta go the slow walk, you know? Make this more dramatic. Alright. Well, oh, this is the same place as the freaking uh, trial missions. Okay. Adventurine, what you got? Where are you? Astral Express. Ooh. You're late. And this. Unsung guest. We've kept your appointment, Mr. Aventurine. 
It is customary to show yourself as well. Oh boy. Oh, I will, naturally. But before that, I've got to introduce our guest of honor. Everyone, give it up for Miss Demeron! Uh. Hi! We're not here for any patronage. Does this have anything to do with the wanted murderer? Mom! <laughs> Mommy, look, I'm on TV! <laughs> uh, <laughs> I cannot pass up the chance to be goofy. Let me remind you that in all likelihood, this stage and her identity have nothing to do with the wanted murderer. Oh no, they do. Uh oh. Otherwise, why would I work so hard to gain your trust and then invite you all here? Because she's the only one who saw all three homicides. She is the key to proving that the family's death that does not exist in dreams promise is nothing but a sham. Jeez. Wait, three? I thought it was two. What? Three homicides? I was gonna question that too. What? That's right, madam. Oh. The third one is about to happen right now. Whoa. Oh, no. <laughs> in Clock Studios theme park. A truly grand death. You, 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 and you. Oh, no. All of you are going to die. And it's all because of you, Miss Stella. Please don't kill the whole Astro Express family. <laughs> you will become the personification of death. What are you on about? You sure you're going to survive this? I ain't that powerful. What are you on about? <laughs> I thought my intent was crystal clear. Let me be a little clearer. I will detonate the Stellaron in you. What? And cause a teeny tiny accident on Panico. Bam! The entire theme park will be reduced to a shattered dream. Oh no. Then before the family can even react, I'll become the IPC fleet's navigator. How do you intend to detonate the Stellaron in me? What? Your bluff isn't fooling anyone. If you could really do that, you would have done so earlier. You wanna bet? <laughs> oh boy. Sure. His favorite word, <laughs> bet. I'm By detonating an unprecedented explosion to prove that the vow of harmony is a complete and utter joke. You won't do it. Of course I can. It's just another gamble. I came from the wastelands of Sigonia. For just 60 red copper coins, people paid to brand me. Mm. Put me in chains. Place me in the gallows and bury me in the golden sands. But the sun could not kill me. And the quicksand sent me back to the embrace of the guild and the IPC. Bear in mind, my victory wasn't just a stroke of luck. I've never been defeated. Oh boy. <laughs> Why do the living sleep? Oh, because we are not ready for the final rest. Every night is practice for the end. Yeah. <laughs> you and I are escaping into our dreams for fear of death at this very moment. And death will surface in our dreams. Friends, the game has commenced, and you cannot choose to decline. Nor do you have any reason or grounds to! Oh boy, let's fucking go. The dice are cast. Ladies and gentlemen, ready to unveil your cards. Oh. <laughs> the architect's flawed stone. <laughs> of no value at all. Oh. I'm putting down the bet. I'm taking the gamble. Oh shit. I'm the win. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, it fades in the wheel. A daring gamble. Walking the brink of death. 
for revenge. <laughs> oh, fuck. Stupa Venturine. Let's go! Alright. Let's see. Ten stone hearts, adventuring of stratagems. Uh-oh. Ow! Okay. Let me put my Fushuan shield up at the very least. Okay. Ooh! Jazzy fucking battle theme. I dig it, adventuring. You want yeah, let's play in slow motion for this one. Make things more intense. Can you find the answer? Ooh, the jazz! In the still waters of oblivion, I guide the wandering souls. <laughs> oh, I'm digging this. Beneath the silent water. All right, no, no hard feelings of entry, but I gotta do this. <laughs> you want your finale to be splendid? I'll Together. give you splendid. Why don't you self move? Oh yeah. Let's do this. Shooting as the dawns do, destined for oblivion. Domain expansion. Bam. 25k. The two shall fall. Boom, 90k. Damn, that's only like 70% though. Ow. Uh oh. Oh shit. Oh, right. Oh, I can't... Oh. Oh, everybody else is stunned. Shit. Um... That's one. Hey, can you go? Oh, shit, no, I was supposed to hit that. Oh, no. Ow! Okay. Right. So when that happens, do not switch to somebody else. Gotcha. Shit. Yeah, this is like a side niche of a boss fight in like P5. <laughs> okay, note to self, do not oh <laughs> hit a dice when that happens. Uh, shame that had to be freaking sparkle though. How? But you can take away my energy? Well, that's not fair. Let's play. A thousand faces in a thousand places. Can you find the answer? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I also noticed that, yeah, the traveler brought up the fucking trailblazer, sorry. The trailblazer brought up the fucking lance instead of the bat. That's when you know it shit's for real. Boom. Alright, defense shred. Don't worry, let's pick it up a notch. Okay, seems to be going well so far. Dude, this battle thing fucking rocks, though. Okay, this again? Time for a bed, okay. Fushuan. Uh, I can't hit them both. Oh, I need to refresh the shield as well. That's not good. Fuck, do I take this? Hmm. Uh, can I roll a six? No, I need to refresh the shield. I, I can't, like, risk not having the shield up. Sorry, Fushuan. You can heal. Life and death. Here, it's all yours. Don't move, okay? Okay. Did you come from the still waters of oblivion? I guide the wandering soul. <laughs> Almost had nine sacks. Okay, what now? Ow. Points fountain. Oh shit, you have more energy drain. Okay. Nah, I should be able to break him now. Yeah. I weep for the departed. Sorry, Venturine. I love you, but at the same time, you chose this. Oh, okay. Okay, he's broken, but he's, he really isn't delayed by that much. Nice, 33%. Time for a bet again? Nope. Okay, that's only a very small point reduction. Not as much as the TVs, thankfully. Slides an endless abyss! Uh, do I wanna... Please give me my ultimate? Okay, nice. I need to heal for everybody. 
are human creations. creations. <laughs> Why don't you stay? And don't move, okay? Yeah, well, I'm gonna try the bed thing again, but to actually hit the things this time. Can you find the answer? <laughs> How ironic that most of the characters here are associated with Venturine. Except for Fushuan, she's the odd one out. The threads of destiny okay. The seal of ill fate what now, Venturine? <laughs> yep, it's usually that move then. Sparkle this time, okay. Uh, can we roll a five? Hit it! No! Ah, nope, shit. Come on, target Acheron or Black Swan, please. Oh shit, I actually got stunned that time. That's not good. Okay, you need a refresh. 19%. Ow. Prepare for some hard work. Okay, we'll, we'll speed things up a bit here. Yeah. Uh, not 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 auto battle. Speed up. We'll slow down when it's his turn, though. Yeah, because I don't want this battle to take forever. Uh, can I potentially finish him off here? Boom! Bam! Dust spring. The two shall fall. Oh, okay, phase two now. <laughs> oh boy. Look at his fucking design though. That design looks so sick. The giant, like, <laughs> the, the mask and everything and the giant top hat looks so good. Okay, what do you got for me, boy? Uh oh, ow. Ow. Hmm. Another existence as fleeting as the dawn's do. Destined for a uh, should I refresh. Yeah, I need to. I need to. I need to get my energy back for healing. Which was like the only one keeping my team alive at the moment. Constellations are human creations. Bam. All right, what's your move now? Another points fountain. Damn. Big spender's mad pay. Oh shit. The threads of destiny. Oh, I need to hit a nine. Okay. Well, at least I can use everybody now. Uh, three for. Uh, seven. Okay. Um. Roll those. AIDS? Shit. Uh... Oh boy, this, this ain't good for me. Oh, crap. Does everybody get doomed now? Oh no. Oh no. Don't kill me! Oh shit. Oh fuck. Shit. Oh my god, Fushman almost died there. No, don't- oh no. Shit, shit, shit. Okay, I'm kinda hoping I brought- I probably should have brought Bailu instead. Shit. If Betuween was to Shuli, would trigger a lot of follow-up attacks. I probably would, not gonna lie, yeah. Let's actually pick it up a notch. Yeah, my guys are almost dead. Um... Hmm. Uh, yeah, I can't get my ultimate in time. I gotta just do this. Uh, don't kill- Oh my god, shit. Ah, uh, fuck. That's not good. Uh... Yeah, this is a real crap situation we have here. Five. Not good. I feel like I want to retreat and then just bring in- And try again. Six? Oh, come on. Even his boss fights RNG. Damn. Ah, uh, crap. Yeah, damn it. I think I want to retry this boss fight. I think I... Hmm. Yeah, I think I need AoE units for this. Can I change? I can't. Can I? 
No, I need to leave here entirely. Let's go again. Yeah, brought up the fucking lance. That's when you know shit's going down. Ready to unveil your cards. The architect's flawed stone. <laughs> of no value at all. I'm putting down the bet. I'm taking the gamble. I'm claiming the win. Mm. I fucking love that voice effect. A daring gamble. Walking the brink of death. For yep, once more with feeling. For the Ember Lord. All right. I'm better prepared this time. <laughs> I won't defeat you this time, Adventurine. Fushwan. Uh. Okay. Get high number. Five. Good. Nice. Uh, I can just say it five, right? I'll one. stay like that. No rerolls needed. Destiny Good. Isn't true. Memories are beneath the water. Lies an endless abyss. Okay, defense down. Akron, go in. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Boom. Good shit. Good damage. How? Virginia skill points there. Okay, who takes a sage this time around? Uh, Akron, okay, four. Four's a low number. Akron, come on, you can be lucky at this. Five, good. Very good. Ooh, max stacks. Ah, very, very nice. Um, should I use Bailu's thing now? All things in this human. Nah, I'll, I'll heal with Fushuan. I'll save Bailu's for like when I absolutely need it. Uh, actually, yeah. What am I doing? I use Acheron. It too shall fall. Break. That's half destined for oblivion. All right, doing well. Doing much better than before. Prepare for some. How? Uh, refresh. Pick him again. Alright, who's gambling this time? Bailu? Uh. Oh, force a, force a low number, so I can hit it with one hit. Uh, five, okay, not bad. Kinda wish I used her ultimate now. Destiny is and might as well, just in case he decides uh, to obliterate me. <laughs> How? Uh, no refresh necessary. I will reduce defense though. So. Alright, who now? Uh, Swan, three! Three's a low number! Come on, Swan, you gotta win this. Don't you dare roll two ones. Good. Good stuff. Alright. Alright. I weep for the departed. I weep for the departed. God. <laughs> this might be like one of the harder boss fights I've ever faced. I feel like he's harder than uh, even Death. <laughs> and Sam. Actually, no, Sam's still pretty hard. Another <laughs> Alright, almost past phase one again. Uh, Fushuan, um... Actually, this counts, right, if I hit all of them with this? Come on, get more than a six. Yes, an eight! Winner! <laughs> nice. Okay, so you can use your ultimate to, like, charge up. Yeah. Nice. Uh, you want? Know yeah, let's get you to do your face too right now. Much, yeah, miles better than, than before. Yeah, I should have listened. I should have listened to you guys. Uh, yeah, to bring in both Fushuan and Bailu. I thought that would kill him. Yeah, this is not a cycle DPS thing, so we can, yeah, manage our things wisely. Uh, more than a five? 
five exactly. Okay, that's also a perfectly acceptable outcome. Uh, no need to refresh yet. Base two. The gamble. Okay, speaking of gambles, who's next, Aventurine? All right, it's for everybody, right? Yeah, everybody. So Bailu's probably gonna eat it here. Uh, okay, gold for Acheron. Swan, nice gold as well. Bailu's probably gonna eat it here. Yeah, three. Gonna use her first just case. <laughs> Feels like a good chance to use it. Uh, and then Fushuan to hit them all. Hey! Don't change us yet. Roll, nice. So everybody but Bailu is okay. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's funny just just by understanding it all by herself. I weep for the depart. All right, another ultimate. Nice. Uh, yeah, let's refresh that defense down. Lies an endless abyss. Free will, or what's on still waters of living? Okay. This again, right? Uh, by this part, I'm gonna eat it again. That's fine. Nine. Oh God, I'm gonna be screwed here. Oh, nice. Good for Swan. Akron, what with you? Seven, shoot. That's bad. Refresh and hit everything. Come on. Nice. Okay, good for Swan and, and uh, Fushuan, but uh, oh boy. Ow. Well, at least I'm surviving, unlike before. Memories are beneath the water. Lies an endless abyss. Ooh. Alright, Acheron, go in. One, two, three. Close to breaking him. Nice. Out, refresh. Uh, yeah, but I think Bias is always gonna fail this one. Nine again? Really? Okay. Eight? Oh, fuck. Bad. Uh, Akron, what about you? Eight's really okay. Unlucky as fuck, I see. All things human creations. Okay, only Fushuan wins. Well, shit. Thank God I got two sustainers. Oh, really? They're all imaginary, broken? Really? Fuck. All things in this. I need to heal them. All right, hit you again. Not again. Not again, again. Good. Uh, all right. Nine, okay. Good, good for me. Bailu's gonna fail, but I'm gonna heal with her first. I wanna fall now. Uh, nice, okay, good for Swan. And Fushuan's gonna have to eat it here. Yeah, unfortunately. It's all or How? Uh, okay. Memories are beneath the water. Lies an endless abyss. The cubes are not random. They show how much they give at the start of his attack animation. Oh, really? Oh, I should probably take note of that then. Another journey begins. Hang on. I weep for the Okay, I'll, I'll observe when you attack the next time around. It takes a fall. Destined for oblivion. Uh, no need to refresh. Yeah, we'll slow it down here and uh, see. I really enjoyed this battle theme though. Damn, Aventurine, you have a banger. Okay. 
Oh, that. Okay, Why six, three. So, okay. I get it now. So, I want to hit these both to get more than that. Ah, okay. Didn't notice before. Good. Okay, so I should consider hitting these both, right? Okay, good. Uh, can I? Okay, yeah, I can hit them all. And I can hit that one. Oh, wait. Oh, they change. Oh, so they're not always going to be the same. Okay. Uh, wait, did you have six? No, you had three. Well, rip by Lou. Yeah, thanks for the tip, uh, Ivan. Yeah, that's definitely gonna help me going forward. Memories are beneath the water. Lies an endless abyss. Uh, okay, you skill. Free will, or what? I weep for the departed. All right, one, two, three. Okay. Uh. All right, you gonna have us gamble again? Okay. Four, five. Okay. Uh, maybe I should avoid hitting those and just so they don't change. Five. Okay. And then these ones says four and five. Okay. Good. Okay. No, that was six, nine. I'm assuming they change. Maybe. Okay. So you can guarantee some numbers, but not all of them. One. Okay. Then hit them all. Okay. <laughs> Bailu gets wrecked once again. <laughs> the pains of being a single target healer. <laughs> uh, okay. Spam ultimates again. I think I'll go. Yeah, do that. I weep for the departed. One, two, three. So close. Getting closer. Um, can I finish him here? Nah, best not risk it. Best not to risk it. Oh wait, I got him. Nah. <laughs> oh, anime cutscene. Or anime fight. Holy oh, Himiko! With a straight face. Oh shoot. I'm starting to get a little impatient with you all. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Friends. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> I'm betting every last shit. Only by casting side reason does one truly can. Holy! Oh no! <laughs> Emanator, I know you'll match my wager, right? It's raining money. Akron, do something. Oh, you're leaving. <laughs> Perhaps I might pass through the place you mentioned. <laughs> yeah, the fucking gates of Babylon just fucking opened up there. <laughs> Holy shit! Pentacle. What do you hope to find within a dream? I'm not looking for anything. They aren't in a dream. Mm. I'm afraid the family will not open the doors for you. Why? Because the path you walk is not accepted by the harmony. Even if... That's not what I want. Precisely because it's not what you want. Huh. Because they are not like other eons. Who is they? Please explain. Also, who's this guy talking to her? They have never glanced at anyone. And they never need to. They leave woven strands of fate for humans to walk. And together, they weave a great shadow. And this shadow silently envelops them. There are always those who rise from the shadows. And they mostly become a part of the shadow. In your eyes. Am I the same? You still have a strand of color 
But not much. <sighs> that is enough. Before they vanish completely, I will reach the Nihility's end. Confirmation? Oh, she is Nihility, I think. Uh, <laughs> resuming where we were. Oh, shit. Holy shit, Aventurine. Oh, shit. Domain I wish to mourn the expansion. Weeping like rain to swell the crossing stream. Oh, May. As the tide arrives, leading you back home. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Take back your coins! <laughs> Jesus Christ! I think you did more damage- oh my god! No, Akron, you doing us all! <laughs> Whoa! Holy fucking cutscene. Uh. Yeah, that was the music from a trailer, yeah. Is wait, did you kill Aventurine? What, what is this place? Uh, oh a gigantic black hole. Oh and see have I have I succeeded? She replied, I want to die. Whoa. A walk among tombstones, this is where we go our own way. Holy shit. It is a Akron's domain expansion, holy shit. Welcome to this sad world, Kakavasha. Uh, more young me's. Your good luck is the most this wealth we all Avgen have. You're fucking Tsukuyomi right here, like, what the hell? You came out alive after two days. It proves that you are the real deal. Wealth. Status. Power. The oh my god. The will give you whatever you want. Even what you don't want. Is, is his life flashing before his eyes? Is he dying? We will reunite in Kakava's next Aurora. No. It's a pity this is not the place you were expecting. Oh. Uh. Hey, white hair Icaron. Yep. Confirmed. Perhaps to you, I am just an emanator who's hiding her identity. But the sleeping and shapeless never glance at anyone. They have no face, no form, and even less of a will to speak. The nihility envelops everyone equally. Only some who have gone under their shadow can go farther. Tainting themselves with more nihility. That's all. <laughs> That's all. My friend, you really leave me at a loss for words. So. Is this my final destination? The land of the dead? This is all but a fleeting dream. One of the thousands of manifestations of Ix. Under the watchful eye of Nihility, we momentarily linger here before moving on to our own paths. Mm. It seems that my death has already been determined. Uh -huh. Even if you wish for it, I can't promise you anything. Now that you've accomplished your goal, I think you can be a little more forthcoming. <laughs> what do you mean? 
Your performance at the theme park was wonderful and grandiose. A simple yet practical technique that fooled almost everyone. <laughs> we getting another big brain plan from uh, Aventurine? Like, what does this? What did this accomplish? No one would have ever thought that you would have gone to such lengths, even staking your life just to prove a fact that had seemingly been disproved long ago. Real death does not exist in Penacony's dreamscape. Oh. <laughs> Why would I do this? Because this is the only way you can uncover a secret that is even more unspeakable than the serial murders. Oh? To use this dream death to get there. To that promised land people constantly seek in this grand gathering. Penacony. The legacy of the Watchmaker. The true land of exile. The true land of exile? How did you find out? I never imagined that something I learned about unexpectedly would become the key to connecting everything. It's our Stellaron friend's identity, isn't it? <gasps> I see you're in the know. <gasps> Let's just say I put money on the possibility. You know more about me. Tell me. Tell me more about me. <laughs> the murder isn't nearly enough to disrupt business as usual. Even if there were one or two murders on Penacony, most people wouldn't be personally affected. And that won't create any waves. This dream of theirs isn't a boundless sea. It's a lonely island. The family used the Harmony to build a high wall and isolate them from the vast and treacherous ocean of the outside world. That barrier they build keeps death out. But it also keeps the secrets that are lost in that watery abyss from floating to the surface. In a beautiful dream, free of suffering. Who would want to go fishing for those secrets? No one. Unless... Unless someone goes to the other side of the barrier and lives to tell the tale. Oh. Someone already has. I got the idea early on, chewing on that masked fool's little hint. If a mute isn't someone who cannot make a sound, then it has to be someone who cannot speak. Someone who survived the treacherous depths, but is unable to take the stage and speak the truth. <laughs> well, I'm happy to know she's safe and sound, and still on Penacony. Robin? Sh she still lives? Hint. Is that not proof? Wait, let me read that again. It's gotta be Robin, right? Unless I'm heavily misinterpreting this. So Robin crossed the other side and lived to tail the tale, but she's been silenced. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, but I, that's what I'm getting from this. Well, proof is the one thing I don't have. The only thing that can prove these conjectures is for the family to come clean. And with the way they buttered up these outsiders, it seems pretty clear they're intent on covering their tracks. But you don't need proof to have a suspicion. And for me, suspicion is enough. I didn't need to find the memory zone meme. I just needed for someone to kill me like it killed that silver-haired girl. What? You don't sound very confident to me. Going out of your way to make citywide broadcasts in an attempt to involve more people. <laughs> you are simply betting on the possibility of someone being able to break down the barrier. Yeah, or Firefly, they both have silver hair. Actually, you know, Robin has like white hair, doesn't she? So then... You're very lucky that fate has decided to let us cross paths. I happen to be equipped with a very sharp blade. Sharp enough to slice through the veil of dreams. I can also carve the Harmony's brand off of you. You possess great cunning. Deliberately setting us up to be on opposing sides. Constantly repeating the words of the Emanator in front of others. Leaving me no choice but to draw my blade against you. And that's how you win. Oh. Opportunity and strategy. Both are essential. 
And in your plans, the IPC always wins. Even if you lose the bet. To the family, the life of an ambassador is still invaluable. Well, it's a huge gamble, isn't it? But allow me to point out a mistake. The IPC's success is not guaranteed. I, unfortunately, have no contingencies for such an important matter. Robin was alive but was silenced. I think that's what's happened. And then whoever killed her clearly did not want her, like, telling whatever happened back there. Hmm. Yeah, and it seems that like the Harmony stuff is not affecting Evadrine anymore. But in exchange, he's keeping him in, like, purgatory or some shit. Detonating a Stellaron. I can't do it. The Aventurine Stone is too broken to even safeguard my escape from the stage. If, at the end of the day, you did not unsheath your blade, I would have lost the bet. It is pointless to discuss what-ifs. You have won. Your prize is an entry ticket into that deep sea. And after this, whether you can return from the Abyss... Oh. ...is another gamble of yours. Have you never wavered? Wavered? <laughs> of course I have. But I can only bank on my own good fortune. Because other than that... I have nothing. Oh. Wake up from this dream and go to where you should be. Your gamble is not over yet. Before we part, can you answer one more question? As someone who has traveled on that road, can you tell me, why are we born into this world? If it's just to die? I don't think this, and never have. Nor do you. But the nihility envelops you and I. And everyone. And because of that, it's pointless. Hmm. Oh. But it is still there. If the dice of fate are always weighted, then that is our destiny. Why, then, do we struggle against it? My answer might not be able to resolve your confusion. Because it has been with you throughout your journey, and is already a part of your life. But you said, sleep is the rehearsal of death. So why does life sleep? Because we are not ready to welcome death. So you can definitely understand why we want to be prepared. Even if the ending has been predetermined, that's fine. There are countless things that humans cannot change. But before the end, there are many things that humans can do while on their journey. And because of this, the end will thus reveal a completely different meaning. Take a good look at your pocket. Oh. Your friend has already given you the answer. Good luck. Hmm. Wow. Oh, get the shit I got from Ratio. Doctor's advice. The impossible in the dreamscape is not death, but rather dormancy. Do stay alive. I wish you the best of luck. Oh. <laughs> nice to see the doctor being nice for a change. <sighs> then I shall get going. Oh. Mister? No. Oh. You're leaving? You ultimately chose to leave this dreamscape. Yes. Because they are not here. My papa, mama, and big sis. 
Then where are they? They are in a place where everyone will go. A very, very distant place. Then are you going to? I'll get there one day, but not now. There will come a day when the sky will drizzle, and I will hear the call of Gyathra Triclops, and know that it is time for me to go, and be reunited with my family. So, until that time comes, I should be preparing. Preparing? For what? Well, preparing to face them, Kakamasha, and to make them proud. Hmm. That's a nice way of looking at life. I know you'll be able to do it. And I guess death too, to some extent. Good hmm. <laughs> well, of course. For I am a child who received the blessing of Gyathra Triclops. That name still sounds like a dinosaur. <laughs> but you still seem nervous. <laughs> well, I seem that way because... I am nervous. You know what? Maybe you can help. Yeah. What do you say? One last time? Put our palms together? Ah. Uh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Are you going now? Yes. Oh. May the Mother Goddess thrice close her eyes for you, keeping, keeping your, your blood, blood eternally pulsing. pulsing. May, May your journey, journey be forever, forever peaceful, peaceful, and your, your schemes, schemes forever concealed. concealed. Our paths will cross again beneath Kakava's shimmering auroras. Oh, he Kakavasha. Farewell, Kakavasha. With hope for the morrow nestled in my heart, I descend into the slumber of tonight. Until the denouement of all coming morrows kisses me, I've embraced the quiet death. But this man is different. He lives and breathes in the present. In every sinking night, by every daring gamble, no visions of moral ever graced his dreams. His life knows not quietude, a quietude. His fate yet demands him to win them all, to weather tempests one after another, till mire and shrouds his un his very breath. And now, in the unfathomable depths of dream, the once falling die has at last landed on his earthly rest, quietly, peacefully. It at last landed. The light of the Aventurine Stone oh. disappeared. This only represents one outcome. He kept his promise and got what he wanted. <laughs> As planned, your cornerstone has been successfully sent to the family's territory. Then. Let's fulfill our duty and start harvesting. Start harvesting? Thereafter, in the cradle of slumberers, deep within the street, the sweet dream of the planet of festivities, another stone begins to radiate light. I come for an audience. Go. I come to fill wine, and I come to claim. I bestow poison in the guise of sweet dew. Come the toil of spring and yield a fall. I patiently wait for the branches to be heavy with withered fruits. All for the Amber Lord. Hmm. Damn. Meanwhile, memory's own depths. Wow. That whole scene was oddly beautiful with Aventurine. So, okay, I need you guys to clarify a bit for me because I, I guess I was slightly lost. Is he actually dead or is, is he like in the Rio Panicone now. Because yeah, someone told me that like, yeah, those who die in the dreams will be transferred to the Rio Panicone. And it's an abyss apparently that he's gonna just try and struggle his way out of. You try and open your eyes, but only find blackness before you. Where's this? What happened? And whose, and whose POV is this? 
<laughs> Memories gradually resurface as time rewinds to a few minutes ago, eventually unleashing, unleashes the final soul, pouring down a dazzling shower of chips, followed by Akron drawing a blade and then crash. The instance of describable force severs the power of preservation, while time and space froze instantly. Your thoughts twist into a knot as your senses fail, with only gravity tearing at your mind as you plummet into the boundless darkness. Yeah, probably the same shit with Robin, yeah. Until a fire engulfs you in, in, in its brace. Yes, I'm Space Edge. I think someone saved me. Doesn't matter, I need to get out of here. I am Space Edge. Whoa. You're here again. Awake. Sam? The fuck? I've been waiting on you for quite a while. Uh, and you are? Just what's happening? It's you. What have you done? <laughs> Why are you here? I didn't do anything but wait for you to wake up. You've met me before. I'm Sam, a Stellaron hunter. I originally planned on showing up earlier to reveal some truths to you. Truths. But I encountered more roadblocks than expected. Eleven times I've tried. But Eleven, jeez. Before I knew it, this world and I became too intertwined, and it became too difficult to escape the constraints of the script. Elio is right. In this land of the dreams, you and I will reap unforgettable gains. I don't know people's hearts as well as he and Kafka do. Mm. Nor do I have a specialty like Silver Wolf and Blade. Most of the things that I'm good at only apply to villains who need no mercy. So, there is only one method that I use. <laughs> Blowing stuff up. Uh. <laughs> this is to show you. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Holy oh, shit! Damn. We were right! Oh, what? Sam is fucking Firefly! What the- To be continued, fuck you! Labyrinth-like corridors and halls, traps everywhere. The owner of this mansion must be a bit paranoid. Shut up, Gallagher! I- What? I mean, we all theorize it, and a lot of people are making memes about it. But holy fuck! Oh, Robin's over there, okay. Holy shit. <laughs> so, how? The, what I want to know is how. How do we watch her die and then fight her on the exact same night? How? <laughs> to be continued in 2.2. Good luck waiting six months or six weeks, dumbass. <laughs> what the heck? Also, fucking <laughs> these fucking idiots just uh, <laughs> these birds just causing a lot of noise. Okay, we're not done yet. The, I'll save my thoughts for like after we're done here. Sunday. You are so funny, Mr. Security Officer. Hold up, let me see what Gallagher said. Okay, there we go. I hope that sense of humor of yours has helped you find the serial killer. Just expressing a personal opinion. Why? Did I hit a nerve? Mr. Gallagher, my patience is wearing thin. Neglecting duties will only make me more suspicious that you and the real serial killer are connected. Oh. <sighs> Scoundrel, punk, drunk, hooligan. I have heard this trash talk all too often, but I have never once thought that I'd be treated as an accomplice to a murderer. I, I take back what I said. Your problem isn't paranoia. You're just crazy, you know? Lunatic. Oh. Wait. Wait, you're not suggesting. You, the family, you broke my spine and pulled out my fangs, and now you want to accuse me of murder? Ridiculous. Only idiots who've drunk too much soul glad will berate a stray dog in the streets. What exactly is making you say all this nonsense? 
You should be more concerned about the outworld visitors who are making a scene in the theme park than me. Yeah, did you not see the insane shit that happened outside? I don't need you to remind me. Once that ambassador walks through the doors of the mansion, I will know what he wants. My servants see everything. His little magic tricks may have fooled me, but no matter. I'm happy to see how it's turned out. Why do you think that I just let him go? And why do you think I emptied the theme park stage? That was you? Because my target from the beginning has always been you. Oh, fucking hell. The more noise he makes, the more opportunities I have to make you and your true master pay in blood. Wait. If I were really the murderer, why would you need to be so secretive? Ha! Huh, I forgot. You also have a difficult master to serve. Telling you to ignore the murder case and focus solely on that Charmony festival. Isn't that right, my brother? What? What? <sighs> Looks like your disguise has helped you successfully understand every facet of the family. Brother? Disguise? You must be blind to be accusing me of being a fake. Open your eyes and take a good look. Wait. <sighs> Indeed, every part of you is real. The brown hair. Soft and curly like Benny's. The orange eyes, which make me miss the gaze of Sir Whitaker. But that odd scar. Uh, uh. The mark of Wolsey. Back it up, brother? What? And the grey vest, tie, hound emblem, bottle, the bartending, and your role as a security officer. These are all true traits from all 52 loyal family members. When they are gathered, countless tiny truths are woven together into a lie. You collected a small piece of each of them and claimed them for yourself. Then you invented this facade, a complete Gallagher. This ain't the real one? Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> you have guts, I'll give you that. Not bad. I severely underestimated you. Admirable. But so what? <gasps> Can this prove that I murdered your sister and that stowaway? Gallagher, why? This no, this is a fake. Wait, uh, I'm so confused. <laughs> are linked, and that's enough. Listen up. I don't care how you did it. I only care about one thing. The answer to a question. You devil. You wretched, despicable dog. Oh, shit. Kill her. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no. You know, in the thick of things, people are blind to the grit in their eyes. Yet they can always feel it scratch. <laughs> Want the answer? I'll give it to you. <laughs> the whole thing is just fate playing a cruel joke on us. What? No! Robin 2? Thanks for the Sam Light Cone, but holy fuck! Stay tuned to find out what happens in the next coming installment. You can't just leave me like that, game! What the fuck? What the shit? Hang on. Wait, uh, uh, what? A fucking what? The Gallagher just straight up fucking kill. Hold on. I need to go back here. Hang on. What in the actual fuck? <laughs> you can't just leave me with that game. You can't just leave me with the most two of the most insane fucking cliffhangers you've ever done. Hang on. Uh, how to go down? Oh, this there. 
Okay, no, his blood is... Wait. Oh, there's a sticker there. Two fucking stickers. That's a fake Gallagher? That... The one we've been with the whole time. Or... I don't know. Gallagher is a killer. Okay, but... Is... They're talking about, like, fakes and whatnot. Which makes you think. Are... Yeah. Is the Gallagher we've been this whole time the fake? Or is there another Gallagher running around that is the fake? I, I don't know. I, I I, need to wrap my head around like all of this. Go back to Firefly's hideouts? I, I guess, sure, if there's anything different there. Yeah, see if the Traveler's dialogue, uh, Traveler's dialogue changed. Uh, back here, yeah. How the heck did this cute girl end up also being this giant badass robot? <laughs> yeah, I want to see. They have sufficient deck with breathtaking views. You can almost see the entire dream's edge at a glance. It's not an easy place to find. The person who introduced you to the value of your friendship. Oh, there we go. You think back to the times you spent with her. All those cherished memories, but the one you'll never forget was the complex world of emotions when she first revealed her true identity to you. Was her past identity all a ruse? Were those tears she got when she was stabbed at just an act? Is that being... That thing which fought while covered in heated flames. Who she really is. Doubt and confusion leave you discombobulated. After all, the lines between what's real and what's false in this dreamscape is far more blurred than it seems. Gazing up at those tall towers before you, you lose yourself deep in the contemplation. Yeah, yeah, considering they're going on about fakes and all, like, yeah, it, the one. That's, that's what I want to know, though. Is there two Gallagher's running about, or is the Gallagher we've been spending all this time with the fake the whole time? Like with the fucking uh, Fantilia taking you in situation. <laughs> I really want to know. Gee, I'm, I'm gonna have to watch fucking video essays of to explain what the heck just happened. But holy shit, that was a magnificent fucking story. It was so good from beginning to end. The original translation, they have Sunday calling Gallagher someone who follows a pack of Egnig Mana. Egnig Mana? Really? That's another one of the eons, right? Um, which one was it? We have to wait fucking six weeks to continue this? God damn it. Oh yeah, and then uh, 2.2 is the end of the quest, right? And then 2.3 is like the send-off to like everyone who's died, probably. So, okay, let's recap what happened. Aventurine has gotten into the place where Robin uh, presumably went. Um, <laughs> Firefly is Sam, confirmed. I guess all those rumors were, were true after all. And Gallagher is the fucking killer of all of them. Yeah, Mythos. That, 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 yeah, that's the, um... Or Mythos. Yeah, that's the Acheron. Or, or this, the Acheron. The Eon of Egnimana. I, I'm gonna have fucking... I'm gonna need to wrap my head around literally fucking all of this. But, yep, yep complete the Travis mission. A walk among tombstones. Holy shit, what an insane fucking story. I'm gonna need time to process all of that. I need time to, like, figure out what all that means and whatnot. Yeah, the adventuring parts were really, really good. And also, yeah, that whole part with, um... Yeah, the, in the void with uh, Akron and, uh... Adventuring was a really, really beautiful scene. Uh, I, I, yeah, I kind of hope that Adventuring comes out of this okay. He deserves a live after all the shit he's been through. Yeah, uh, tons and tons of questions that probably will be answered by 2.2, but... Man, I truly can't wait for, like, when that time comes. But yeah, that concludes it for our little uh, stream today, folks. For, yeah, for the 2.1 Trailblaze mission. It was really, really insane. And yeah, surely a bunch of stuff just, like, flew over my head. So feel free to explain in the comments. Yeah, explain anything to me that I may or may not have missed. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed my reactions to this whole story. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, if you did, I'd appreciate it. Please leave a like on the video and the stream if you enjoyed it. It really helps me a lot. And also subscribe today if you want to see some more uh, Honkai Saurio or Genshin streams from me. But yeah, as of right now, thank you all so much for watching. Hope to see y'all again in the next stream. And yeah, take care and have a good night. And uh, good luck with your Akron and uh, watch your polls if you're still pulling from. But all right, time for me to take mm -hmm. off now, guys. Thank you so much. And yeah, see you all next time, hopefully. Bye-bye and have a nice day.